Whoa, son. Welcome, everyone, uh, to another regular size Thursday where we're going to be playing some more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, we back. We were out Monday uh, for uh, Labor Day. Um, holiday. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, had a, had, a, had a no stream Monday. That's fine. Um, Tailspire will be there for us next week. They just added some stuff, too. And some big announcements that I will get get into on Monday when we're actually playing it. But right now we're playing this. Um, we have grinded a lot. <laughs> we ground. We ground a lot uh, in the interim. And uh, we're pretty tough now. We I, uh, I took advantage of having the dragon, Tengri, and we flew around and just kind of looked around and see to see what we could access now. And uh, <laughs> uh, the the plateaus surrounding the desert where we were seeing all those weird uh, familiars wandering around, uh, the one, the biped, the weird gray one that we kept seeing, uh, a dinosaur, uh, what was it called? A, a dinosaurus is what it's called. We managed to, got, managed to get one. So now we've got a dinosaurus. And he is no joke. He he's already metamorphed once. Uh, now he's looking like a like a like a photo negative of uh, uh, what's his face. <laughs> uh, oh, the guy from the Misfits. I can't remember his name. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you can rotate him. I didn't know you could rotate him. Um, but yeah, uh, he's pretty tough. His the only thing that sucks about him is he's slow and his accuracy isn't that great. But he's already got a 258 offense and a 208 defense. It's stupid. It's stupid. Um, we <laughs> we we managed to get a a pack packo killer. Uh, or no, what is he? He's a psychophant. Get it, packo killer, Cascuse. Fa 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 baby. <laughs> anyway. Um, and yeah, these a couple other metamorphs. Um, Luthi Yum Yum still, still kicking it the same way as his Griffey Beaks. Um, Bitey Butts looks the same. Uh, Orororo, I think I leveled up. I, I, I metamorphed him uh, again. Um, he's now a Floriborus. Um, a Mermite. He's still a Mermite. We got a we got a a, 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 a Hip Hooray. I named him Hip Hop Hooray. Hip Hop Hooray. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the A with the umlauts, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm sticking with that. Um, so we got that. So now Esther has one of each type of uh, familiar that she synergizes with. So she's got a bird, she's got a plant, and she's got a fish. Excellent. And everyone has one of each. Uh, Swain's got one of each. Ollie's got one of each. Esther's got one of each. It works out great, cause yeah, the the uh, Destroceros, Destroceros, as in the upper right, Destroceros. He is a Draconis, so uh, now all he's got a dragon. Um, but yeah, he reached whatever level he was before he metamorphed, and now he's level nine of a Destros Destroceros, not just a Dinosaurus. And it's crazy, Ear Splitter, the 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 ability just below attack is stupid. It does a stupid amount of damage. Um, and it did a stupid amount of damage in his previous form too, so it's it's just bonkers. So yeah, we got we got real swole. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, his defense is good, his offense is good. He just doesn't have great aim. But luckily, his favorite treat is pie, which ups your accuracy. So I've been going around just buying a bunch of base pies, scrounging and foraging to turn those pies into higher level versions of pie, like. The see-through pie and game pie and all those other ones, and just just shoving them in his face, just eat it. And <laughs> and uh, he's been he's been getting uh, real good. Um, so we're gonna get into some fights. Uh, we're, we're actually on a mission. We're we're gonna get the stones for the the Mornstar, whatever the frick his his new wand is. Um, that one, that one right there. So here we go. Here's most deaf Dino. I named him Most Deaf Dino because I was thinking definitely dinosaur, but that wouldn't fit. So I just went with Most Deaf Dino. Oh, he's asleep. Okay, well... Oh, no, he's not. He's fine. What's... What's... Punch him. Punch him. There. Yeah, 82. It's it's pretty... 
Pretty nuts. Um, let's go help Esther. It's gonna be slow getting over there, but get him! Get get him! Get him! Oh my God! Yeah, he's he does great damage. He's just incredibly slow. But it's fine. His defense is great, so it's not like he's like taking a huge amount of damage. He's just like slogging through and just dishing out massive, massive. Massive hits. I mean massive. I mean really massive. Have you ever dealt out a massive hit? I mean really massive. Um, let's uh, let's do ear splitter. I'll show you guys what that does. It's uh, bonkers. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. Those two birds are just dead. <laughs> They're just dead. Wow, yeah, it costs it costs a good amount of magic, but hey, worth it, worth it. And he's only level nine in this form. Whew. It's crazy, but yeah, the the uh, mobility that we're now afforded by having the travel spell, Tengri, and the boat. We have all three still. We, we oh, where'd Esther go? I guess she, nah, it's okay. She got hung up on something. Um. <laughs> She's technically still lay out. Like Swain just got hung up there. Where is she? She she's way. Yep, I see her, way back there. That's fine. Let's do this. Um, let's travel. I'm gonna go to Temple of Trials right quick, and we're gonna try the first, the first uh, trial, or the not the first trial, the first um, Solosium, uh fight. And give that a shot. And actually, while I'm here, I found out where to find jade marbles using the uh, using Tengri. Uh, there's a spot right here, right there, where uh, you can get get at it with Tengri, and that's a it's a jade marble. So I'm gonna parp, parp, get Tengri, and he's just gonna pick us up and put us down right. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, right there's fine. Right there. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the Dinoceros over there. Yep. That's all they were. It was just a new, a new familiar. Ooh, two jade marbles. Hell yeah. Um, I think that's the first time I've ever got two from two, uh, two from that one. Awesome. But yeah, jade marble. So we've got to uh, make a couple things that we weren't able to make previously. So That's good. It uh, opens up a new, a bunch of new formulas for us. So let's reparp. <laughs> why did, why did Drippy call it parp? You throw a little parp on your horn and then it calls the dragon parp. It's a parp. It's like a fart. I attribute it to fart. It's like a fart. Anyway, this is where we're going. Oh, and update. Uh, last week I was feeling a little, a little, just a little under the weather. Um, I'm fine now. I don't know what it was. It was just some small bug. Uh, but I'm good now. Didn't even break fever. Like I, I, right after the stream, I went and I checked my fever and I took took my temperature and I was fine. So I don't know what it was. So yeah, I guess just in case something happens here. Yep. All right, we're good. All right, so we got to talk to Umbopa. You came. Umbopa has been waiting. Umbopa is tired of waiting. But now it is time. It is time for the Solosium series. Here, only the strongest familiars fight. The rules are simple. Umbopa will explain. Fight familiars. If you win, fight some more. Then fight some more. Understand? No, sorry, I don't get that. I don't get it. The Solosium series has six ranks. Rank E, rank D, rank C, rank B, rank A, rank S. Six. Understand? Good. Win any rank to get prizes and money. Did you hear that great big lump? Money! Prizes! Is anyone else, is anyone else starting to get fired up about this? I guess it does sound pretty exciting. 
But do not forget, you cannot use items in the Solosium series. Now it is time to begin. That's fine. Let's give it all... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Let's give it all special. Uh, I guess rank E, because that's... Yeah. If you are injured, Umbopa will heal you. Fight with all your might. Oh no! Okay. We'll give it a shot, and then we'll go looking for st looking for stones. We gotta go on a stone hunt. Get some stones. I have a very sleepy kitty. Right over here. She is full on asleep. Who are these? The Dell Dwellers. Looks like we'll be your first opponents. Don't underestimate don't underestimate us just because we're small. Uh, okay. I'm gonna beat you to death with a dinosaur. Oh, you're done. You're done, son. You're done. Um, goodbye. Oh, we're going all out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh, he's got the same. Oh, but it's not as good. I'm gonna war cry real quick. And then, uh, attack this one. Bam. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. Ooh, hit the bird. Hit the bird. Birdie. Tiger. Ooh, ow. Nice. Alright, that went well. That went well. You win. A new challenger has arrived. You didn't have to take it so seriously. We're only little, you know. You said. You said. Who's Top Babana? Who the hell is Top Babana? All right, well, we're doing this. Next, you shall do battle against us. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Next, you shall do battle against us. Oh, it's her. God damn it. We are the Babana Merchants of Alma Moon. We fight so that the world may know the, the, the delight of all things ban Babana. I almost said banana. B-A-B-A-N-A-S. This shit is Babanas. B-A-B-A-N-A-S. All right. Well, uh, ears put Oh, you missed me. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh my god, 202 points of Derma. Knocked him out of it. Oh, oh, you guys are done. And hit him. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Griffy Beaks. Bonkers. We did it! It's insane. You win. So what's it's three rounds? I'm guessing it's one like Ding Dong Dell, then Alma Moon, then Castaway Cove. A wonderful performance. You would perhaps be interested in doing some promotional work for my Babana stall? Uh, no. Mr. Gilderberg. Ah, it would seem we are all, we are to be your next opponents. Needless to say, the prize money on offer is of little consequence to us. Oh, it's, okay. Little consequence to us. <laughs> But we shall nevertheless accept it, should we win. Well, we did not amass a fortune by looking gift horses in the mouth, after all. <clears throat> what, what? Hey, old, hey, old paint. Oh, okay. Now we got some, now we got some competition. All right, we're doing our dinosaurs against their dinosaurs. Doing ear splitter. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Three, point, three points total there. Cool. One point total there. And... Bam! Oh, we're done. And they're dead. <laughs> and we win! We win the E rank, I believe. Unless there's something I don't know about. Yeah. Yeah. Kick butt. Impressive! How about you come and work for me as my bodyguard? I'll double, no, triple your current salary. Well, my current salary is zero, so zero times three is still zero, so no. And I'll have to do work. <laughs> you have won E rank. Well done. Here is your price. Oh! 
I don't know, what is that? The Dragon Tusk and 2,000 Guilders. Nice. Good luck in the next rank. Well, we're not going to do the next rank just yet. I mean, that was... I'm not going to brag. But that was pretty easy. <laughs> that was pretty damn easy. Uh, who can use this tusk? I think... Yeah, he can. Hit it. Ooh. It is a little better. His accuracy goes down a little bit. What is it? It's 167. It drops... It drops by seven. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh. Poisoner's Horn. That puts it up to... Uh, well, that's even better. Uh, sure. We'll give him the... We'll give him the Dragon's Tusk. Just make him ridiculously... <laughs> stupid. Stupid dangerous. Uh, Monkey Poops still... Still kicking it with the group. As his Bitey Butts. The two originals. Still kicking it. Alright. <clears throat> well, that was fun. Oh, actually, I should probably save it. Um, before I go out there and die and have to do this over again. Um, it, that won't happen. <laughs> yep. Save progress. Um, but rather than pay money to, to respawn from the last whatever, auto-save point, I just... Quit the game and load for my last sample. <laughs> How much money do I have right now? I've got... Wait. Wait. 39 grand. Almost 30, Almost 40 grand. It's crazy. Been doing a lot of... We did a lot of fighting. And we were like... Metamo getting to the point where we could metamorph the familiar. And we, were, we didn't have any more jumbo... Uh, jumbo drops. So we had to make more. So we had to find out where to find... Um, star, what is it, star fragments, or, I don't know what they're called, star, yeah, star fragments, because you combine, like, three of those with a regular star drop, and it makes a jumbo star drop, and so on, for, for sun drops and moon drops and planet drops, and also, you have to find the different types of shards, and I think three is the magic number, plus one, act, one regular size drop in the alchemy jar, and out comes a jumbo drop, um, but yeah, so we had to hunt them down, and fight our way. Actually, you have to steal them from. You can steal them from enemies too, which I discovered. Specific, some specific enemies, uh, like the uh, the thumble lemur, like monkey poops. Um, they, yeah, you can see one up there on the plateau. You can uh, steal them from them, or they drop them. But uh, I learned that stealing with Swain is a little difficult. The timing is very weird, and it doesn't work very often. <laughs> so, ooh, is this the Ember Shard? Oh, it's the Glow Caps. I don't, there was like an Ember Shard somewhere here in the desert. And I don't know where it is. Like, I found it, I found it once before. I think it's, it's probably somewhere up on Death Mountain. Is it Death Mountain? Skull Mountain? I don't know. Where it is. Um, but the, the volcano, probably. I'm going to do a little bit of foraging here, just because... I'm here, and I don't get over here very often. Get some dam. Get some dams. Clear the way. Uh, is there one? I thought there was a forge point over here somewhere. No. Oops. Hmm. Was it up? Here, I know it's near. It's near a plant and a little rocky outcropping. Could be wrong. I might be completely wrong. Oh, there it is. Found it. Straight ahead. <clears throat> I think that's an ember shard or a bane flower. It's one of those two. It's two bane flowers. Cool. That's fine. I think Ember Shards you can find up on this mountain, which we're going to grab real quick. Man, remember when when when, when this volcano was like the, oh, that's going to be tough. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should go there yet. I should probably level up a little bit. Now it's like, uh-huh, whatever. <laughs> So, I'm guessing the the next ranks are gonna be 
uh, basically the same kind of tier system, only the monsters are going to be the next metamorphed form. Like, mon still monsters within that area, because the, the first, ra the first uh, round were monsters from Ding Dong Dell, the Ding Dong Dell area. Um, another bane flower. Where did we get ember shards before? Were these things just dropping them? That's probably what happened. Yeah, things appear to probably just dropping them. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use Swain and I'm gonna try Let's to steal go. one from this. Uh... Swain, step aside. And we're gonna trick shot, mug shot on the sunshine. And never mind, they're all dead. <laughs> nice so quick. <laughs> it happened so fast. Oh. Yay, Monkey Poops is level 20. Yay! <clears throat> well. Alright. Uh, oh, we don't need to walk. What am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? Alright. To the stones! First one, I believe, is over here somewhere. Which is marked by the star. Um... Oh, yeah, I, we found this cave. Uh, there's just a dude in there that says I need to get better at alchemy and then come back and talk to him. That's it. And there were a couple chests, and there was a chest had a, a badge in it that I gave to Esther, and the other chest I can't open yet. So that's all, that's, that's all there is about that cave. Uh, but we will go back there once we figure out what he means by getting better at alchemy. Um, but yeah, here's the first... Uh, the Vault of Tears. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, let's see what this is. I have not looked ahead to see what happens or what I need to do. Uh, anytime I look anything up, it's just to find out where to find an item. You know, and not, not quest items or anything like that. Just little stupid stuff like the shards. And... God, where have, where have we ended up this time? I've known prisons that look more inviting. Another damp old ruin it is, is it? Ah, uh, bollocks. My lantern's going to end up covered in mold. Caked, I tell you. Does that lantern really go moldy? Oh, uh, you know, that's not really important right now. You're not wrong there, there Ollie boy. It looks like we've found the place, where it, the place we're after. One of them magic stones should be somewhere in here. All right. That was a nice uh, little back and forth. Uh, ooh. Oh, I can drop off that, uh, Psychophant. Psycho killer. Cascuse. Oh, he's a beast. Day. Hmm. Do I want to swap out monkey poops for this guy? Hmm. Nah. I'm going to drop him off. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Cool. Done and done. What is this? <laughs> I saw it on the map before I saw it on the screen. I was like, oh, shit. Alright. Well. Uh, oh, well. I guess it doesn't do anything yet. Um, oh. I'm not feeling any better about this place. I... I just wish it could be a bit less creepy. Take this, for example. A statue of a snake. Who in their right mind would choose that as an ornament? A nutter, that's who. Hold on. Are you saying that you... Are you saying you're scared of snakes, Swain? Of course not. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, of course not. And what's it to you for him, anyway? Why do you... Uh-oh. Did anybody else see just see that? Huh? Just now, the the statue's eyes they glowed. Oh, I see. Trying to be funny, are you? Well, it doesn't suit you, Oliver. Huh? Oh, awesome. Oh no! We're frogs. <laughs> Rabbit. Huh? Rare bit, rare bit. Oh, he has a Scottish ribbit. Cute. <laughs> what the flippin' heck is going on? We've turned 
have we turned into frogs? Robert, Robert, Robert. It, it's a c c curse. What are we going to do? Don't make such a fuss, Moon. It's not like it's made a smother or anything. Speak for yourself. So, uh, how are we going to turn back to normal? What's that? It's a frog. It's a Technicolor frog. Oh, rainbow frog, sorry. <laughs> it's actually called the rainbow frog. Gosh, what a colorful frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Well, wait up! Where are you going? Was that frog cursed by the statue as well, then? Do you think it's actually a human? Someone who came in here, came in here before us? Maybe! It knows something about this place! Let's go after it! Alright. Uh... This is all this is gonna be, just a weird, uh... A thing like that. Like, I don't... Oh, God, it's just... Oh, the fr oh, the drippy frog has a weird pointy snout. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, no. Hold up, Ollie boy. What? If a monster attacks us, we're in no... S oh, wait. What if a monster attacks us? We're in no state to put the fight button. Sorry. <laughs> well, I guess, but we have to go after that rainbow-colored frog, Mr. Drippy. Wait a minute. We might be a bit on the froggy side, but your familiars could still be okay. Have a look, will ya? Gee, you're right. They seem they just fine. Interesting, that. The curse only seems to affect humans and fairies, of course. Well, let's count our blessings, shall we? At least you've got your familiars to pro we've got your familiars to protect us if monster if a monster fancies a frog for lunch. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Um, good to know. We're gonna we're gonna just hippity hop our way around this snake later. Later, loser. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a silly mander. Oh, I was wondering when we were gonna get to see one of these. We're not fighting one. Ooh, that's another. That's a Ouroboros. It's the same level as mine. But uh, different path. Uh oh, Sillymander. Where'd the frog go? I'm guessing he went this uh, way. Oh nope, that's a that's a Floriborus. But this is really the only way he could have gone. Oh no, actually he could have gone this way. Couldn't he have? Couldn't have he? Couldn't have? Couldn't have he? He couldn't. <laughs> Um, can I not, can I not go this way? Well, fine. I guess we have to turn back into humans to go that way? I don't know. I don't freaking know, man. Oh, he's afraid of us. Even as frogs. I'll take it. Another puzzle. Hmm. I'm sure that frog frog came over by here. Oh. Oh, there it is. Stop, please. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Come on, everybody. We have to go after it. He's right. We can't let you get away. Well, I'm sure we've got a puzzle to do. Or... I guess after we turn back into a human, huh? And a chest. Oh. Oh, okay. Woohoo! We're back to normal! Phew. The novelty of being frog wears uh, being a frog wears off pretty quickly, eh? I know, and having to speak in that awful frog language was just so tiring. Two rabbit moon, er, uh, I mean, to right. Eh, looks like Drippy misses his old froggy form. Anyway, we should get back to searching for that stone. Wait, what if... 
I think that rainbow-coloured frog was trying to lead us here. So why hasn't it changed back into human like we did? Maybe it was just a normal frog after all. Hmm, I don't know, but it's curious. Well, I'm sure we'll bump into it again before long, isn't it? Now then, let's start looking for that stone, shall we? Sure thing, let's take a look around these ruins. All right, well, there's a chest right here that we can open. And we got an espresso. Hot cup of coffee. Um, okay, there's a... There's a lith... Mon oh, there's the frog. He's right there. Hey, Mr. Frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, right. Um, nature's tongue. Help him, please. Uh, I'm gonna give it a just a a just a just a unisex voice. Help him, please. Oh, okay. That's all he has to say, or all they have to say. All right. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Wait a minute. That's a spell symbol there. All the frogs are pointing toward that symbol, and that is the spell... Gateway? No. Puppet string. Ah. Okay. Hmm. What if we... What if we stood right here and cast puppet string? What happens? No. Well, good to know. Good to know. We tried it. What's over here? Ooh. Are we here? Oh, where are we here? Come on, dyslexia. <laughs> where are we? Crikey, this place is a bit bleak and grim. Must be a prison or something. Is there someone there? Oh, it's the frog guy. Oh, who, who is that? It, it, it's a flabbed frog. Another one. Another one. Do you mean to say that someone else has been blighted by my curse? Well, actually, we were cursed and turned into frogs ourselves, but we didn't look like you. Leave now. You must leave this place. It is dangerous. Huh? But, but you... Do not waste time worrying about me. <sighs> What's the matter? Are you hurt? Oh, Oliver... We've got to do something. Yes, we have to help him. I guess I can use magic to get this door open. Let, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's just the spring lock spell. Spring lock. Bam. Oh, dip. Yeah, what are you doing? Leave me alone. I beseech you. Wait a minute. Are you... are you the Frog Prince? You know who I am? But how? The Frog Prince of the Desert. That's you, isn't it? The one who left his kingdom, abandoning his princess. Yeah. How do you... What are you going on about, Esther? Are you trying to confuse us or something? Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't take much to confuse the likes of you, Swain. I'm just a bit shocked, all right? I didn't think we were going to bump into a prince from a fairy tale, did I? Fairy tale? Yeah, I see. So that is how you know me. You know of me. Now let me think. Ah, yes, I remember. All right, listen carefully. Ooh, some quality Studio Ghibli. Once upon a time... Oh, I didn't read... Uh, in that kingdom lived a handsome and courageous young prince who was much loved by his kingdom. Then one day the kingdom was attacked by a monstrous serpent, a beast so hideous that it struck fear into all who saw it, a terrible, evil creature. The prince decided that in order to defeat the serpent, he would have to drink a certain mysterious potion. No sooner had he swallowed the diabolical draft than he began to turn into a frog. Wait, wait, wait. 
Why would he drink a potion that turned him into a frog? A frog doesn't stand a chance of beating a snake. I haven't finished the story yet. I told you to listen carefully, didn't I? Not ask stupid questions. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The reason he decided to turn into a frog was... To lull the serpent into a false sense of security by becoming one of its favorite foodstuffs, if I recall correctly. Ahem, <clears throat> yes. My apologies. Please continue. And so the prince turned himself into a frog, for he had a plan. He knew the serpent would not be able to resist eating him, and that this would allow him to attack the monster from inside. The plan worked. The serpent swallowed the prince and received a mortal blow from inside. But alas, the prince could not return to his original form. No matter what he tried, he remained an ugly frog. This caused him great distress. He could not stop thinking about how foolish he had been, so he vowed to hide himself away from the world. Now the prince was married to a beautiful young princess, though he had promised that they would be together forever and ever. She had not seen him since he left to face the serpent. It began to seem that he would never return. Despairing, the princess went to the tomb where the prince had slain the serpent and wept for her lost love. And there she remained, waiting for her prince, though she knew he would, not, he would never come, waiting until the day, end of her days. Mm, she waited, you say. I see that it truly has become a fairy, fairy tale. Gee, that's a pretty sad story. Every girl in Alma Moon is told that story when they're young, and everyone cries the first time they hear it. You speak of it as if it were a work of fiction. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince Ali. Prince Ali, it has been a very long time since anyone has called me by my name. Well then... Shall I tell you the final chapter of your fairy tale? Prince Ali ate a bunch of stupid kids in a dungeon. <laughs> the final chapter? So the prince left his princess behind and turned his back on his kingdom. The princess's name was Yasmina, by the way. She was the love of the prince's life, and yet he abandoned her. Many years passed, and the prince remained a frog, only to find to his dismay that he was unable to die. Yes, he was destined to live as a frog forever. Even after his kingdom had been raised to the ground. That's just terrible. Ha, uh, I may have suffered, but it is nothing compared to the pain I caused my beloved Yasmina. Indeed, I feel sometimes that this is just punishment. But why are you in this cell, your highness? It is the serpent, Apep. He has returned. Somehow, someone brought him back to life. Shadar, of course. <laughs> I don't think that there are many people who could breathe new life into an ancient monster. Yeah, I can only think of one. You mean Shadar? Apep wasted no time in taking his revenge. That is how I came to be imp imprisoned here. Who can say how long he intends to prolong my agony? I have not have I not suffered enough to remain in this form to live without my beloved Oliver isn't there a spell you can cast to bring Prince Ali back to normal you mean something to lift the curse that turned him into a frog hmm hang on a flippin minute mon why don't you use that magic circle circle you lifted uh you lifted our frog oh you that lifted our froggy curse you're right it worked for us. Maybe it would work for him. But surely you did not consume the same shape-shifting potion that I did. Well, it wasn't a potion, no. But that's not important, right? Now? Uh, that's not important right now. Come on, your highness. Let's give that magic cir circle a try. Could such magic truly reside in this temple? And what if I were to become human again? What new torments would Apep... Would Apep... 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 What app app device for me then? You mustn't think about things like that, your highness. We have to try at least. Now, come with us. We'll take you straight to the magic circle. The magic circle! Come on, the magic circle! Alright, uh, he's traveling with us. Oh, hello, creepy frogman. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll, uh, oh, actually, let's try this. 
Uh, bam. Aww. I can't light this candle? Okay. Okay, game. Oversight. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's just a, that is just a cell. Okay, we're not gonna... Oops, sorry, Drippy. Wait, how do we come in here? Oh, the stairs. Ooh. Okay. So, magic circle was over here. The rainbow frog is gone. Is the rainbow frog Yasmina? Shoot. <laughs> Did I guess it already? Ah, oh, poops. Ah, poops. Prince Ali, this is the magic circle that lifted our curse. A magic circle. Could such a thing really have the same effect on me? Well, there's only one way to find out. Yes, you are right. Dun, 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 dun. And no. What? I don't understand. He's standing in the magic circle just like we did, but nothing's happening. The poor fellow's been like that for thousands of years. We were only cursed for a few minutes. I'm so sorry, Prince Ali. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. There is no need to apologize. I was rather expecting this to happen. I do not believe my curse will be lifted while the while ap 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 draws breath. He is doubtless using his own foul magic to strengthen its hold. Well then, it's pretty obvious what we need to do then, isn't it? Mr. Trippy's right. There's only one thing for it. Surely not. Surely you are not going to try and defeat ap 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 ap. That wouldn't be unspeakably reckless. I, I shall assist you. I must. He's got a sinus thing, I think. <laughs> no, you can't fight him, Prince Ali. Not in your condition. Don't worry, Prince Ali. You can count on us. We'll defeat Ap 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 Ap, -ap, -ap and lift your curse. I, I believe in you. Something about you makes me believe. Ap 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 lurks deep within these ruins. I shall take you to him. Sure. Uh, oh, we're supposed to go that way? But what's over here? I haven't looked over here yet. Or we're really over here. Well, I guess we've been over there, technically. I'm going to look over here while you're uh, doing that. Yep. Oh, he's rolling away. He wants nothing to do with us. Oh, too bad. Ooh. Okay. No slacking, you lot. Okay. What is that snake wearing? Is it wearing a bikini top? Okay. I just want to make sure everybody sees that. I'm gonna psych up. And then go wild. On you. Bam. 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 Ooh. Bam. Suck it. Suck on. Oh, I'm gonna grab. Didn't really need him. <laughs> Told you, we got swole. We got swole. Yay, moon drop. Boogie barf is level 12. Hooray. I do want to see what's up. Ooh, what's this? Whole lot of nothing. Awesome. Excuse me, Drippy. <clears throat> oh. That just takes us back over here. Got it. Okay. Well, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Almost looks like there's Sheikah symbols from Zelda right there. It looks like a like a Sheikah symbol. Pretty much, it's uh, it's slightly different, but it looks like the symbol for the Sheikah. Well, okay. Oh. oh, I see. Perhaps a key is required to open that door, but there are no keys in these ruins, I am sure. 
However, there was something written on the wall of my cell. I wonder if it is some kind of clue. Two firm friends play leapfrog across the floor. There was more as well, I'm sure. Perhaps understanding those words is key to opening the door. Why do you sometimes rhyme? I don't... I don't... Wait... Wow. What's it? <laughs> Ma. Ma. Alright. What if I stand here? And cast... Now I cast Puppet String. Oh. Okay. Two friends play leapfrog. Select statue, move statue. Can I rotate the statue? I can't. Um, let me go read this poem. This poem. <clears throat> Oh. There's something written on the wall by here, man. Two firm, uh, two firm friends play leapfrog all across the floor. And, oh, there's more. Each one gamely going where the other was before. Doesn't make much sense to me, man. Okay. Each one, firm friends playing leapfrog across the floor. Each one going where the other has gone before. Okay. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh. Can I use those? No, I don't think I can control those frog statues. I don't. I don't really get a say on what I get to control. Uh, oh, they're both crying. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Um, well. I thought one was and one wasn't. My mistake. Okay. So. Play leapfrog. So. And then. Okay. Um, so I move it here. And here. I'm I'm trying to trying to do it in a way that it's sort of leapfrog, but I don't know. I don't know. My options are select statue, move statue, and finish moving. I don't think this is doing anything. <laughs> I don't think this is doing anything. Play leapfrog across the floor. Each one going where the other has gone before. Hmm. Let's try talking to Drippy here. How do we get to, to the end of these ruins, man? I don't know whether I'm flipping coming or going. All right, that was a lot of help, Drippy. Thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you so much. Gosh, that's... Ah, oh, such a great help. Drippy, thank you. Uh, he's saying the same thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Leave him for more. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see. Um. Is there anything written on these statues? No. The frog, play leapfrog across the floor. I have to be standing here to cast the spell. So I can't put them on this space. I can't move while I have the spell cast. So that's not it. 
leapfrog across the floor. Each one going where the other had gone before. Hmm. And each of these frogs is pointed at this symbol. <sighs> so it's not like it can... Hmm. Are there any clues in these alcoves? God, I feel like my players probably did on Friday. Or yesterday. Yesterday night. When I ran D&D. <laughs> Put him in a puzzle room. Probably felt this way. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this sucks. No, this is fine. <laughs> uh, Alright, I can't do that. A leapfrog across the floor. I kind of... We, we moved them all along, just going one over the other one. And that's, that's how you play Leapfrog, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know! Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Oh, okay, there's a drawing on the... Okay. They're facing each other there, but I can't turn the statues. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. All right. Well. Okay. Um, do they have to be like that? I don't know. So move that one there. Move this one here. Move this one here. Move this one here. This is not leapfrog. <laughs> Oops. This one here. 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 No. Two firm friends. That's the stone girls. Firm friends. Play leapfrog across the floor. They're clearly supposed to end up in these spots. Because they do snap to these, these squares. Play leapfrog across the floor. Two firm friends. Yeah. I dare say I may be looking this one up. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I mean, I'll give it the I'll give it the old college try of, uh, of you know what is actually leapfrog, but I don't really know where to start them. Do I start them in front? This is so. It just seems so arbitrary. Like there's no. There's no clear starting point. There's no clear pattern that we're supposed to be doing. All of the frogs are pointed at this spot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know! Well, we'll try it. We'll try one more time with the leapfrog. The best, the closest thing we can do to leapfrog. Um, we'll start with one. Start with one right in front of the door. And we'll start with one. We'll try going counterclockwise. Maybe that'll do it. So that one hops over that one. This one hops over this one. This one hops over this one. This one hops over this one. Oh, excuse me, Drippy. This one hops over that one. This one hops over that one. And this one hops over that one. Done. <laughs> that didn't do it. Well, crud. 
What the heck? The hecky. Um. Let's see. Move that one back there. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird because you, we have the th Yeah, it's... Uh, if it were like... Four by four? Then maybe it would make more sense. It make it would make more sense to me, but, but three by three, or at least what I'm thinking of it being, it would make more sense. But I, I don't know. I don't flip and I don't flip and no. Uh, to the wizard's compendium. <laughs> I guess. Companion. All right. Let's see. Um, twelve tales of wonder. Let's see. Do you have any fairy who wouldn't stop pro Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Tears. The, the... Okay. 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 And crying. Maybe. Mayhaps. All right. So we're going to take our break. And when we come back, I'm, I'm going to read through this. Oh. Is that the end of it? Okay. Yeah, it's only two pages. So... Yeah, we'll read through it, and uh, hopefully it'll give us a clue. Um, it's my only hope right now without resorting to looking in the actual book. So, uh, be right back, and uh, we'll figure this out. Maybe. Yow. Yow. Okay, so, I'm going to read this. Hopefully it'll give us a clue. I don't know, um, but uh, here we go. <clears throat> uh, I guess this is in the voice of Drippy since it's it's apparently read by a fairy. So, the third tale: the fairy who wouldn't stop crying, the teary fairy. Sit tight, boys and girls. I've got a story to tell you. A fairy tale, if you like. Fairies like me used to be ten a penny, you see, but you'd be hard pressed to find one these days. Always on the move, we are. Anyway, these stories about a very special fairy. And while it all happened a long, long time ago, the fairy's still going strong today. Or so I hope, anyway. Right then, let's get cracking in it. This story's about a little fairy who wouldn't stop crying. Sobbing, he was. Day and night. Now, for us fairies, us fairies are hell of a impressionable. Es uh, hell of a impressionable? Especially when we're, we're little. We learn all sorts of tidy tricks from other fairies. But we can pick up bad habits just as, easy, just as easy. I don't know whose miserable mug this poor dab saw when he first popped out into the world, but it must have been proper tragic, because the first thing he ever did in his life was cry. And then he kept on crying. Now, it's not like this fairy wanted to be spouting tears all the time. He, he just couldn't help himself. Every time it got dark, he'd well up. Like blinking clockwork he was. What's more... Young fairies can be a hell of a cruel, and this little cry fairy got ribbed something terrible, all of which just made him want to cry even more, of course. All right, puddle of tears. Puddle of tears. Um, it's like puddle of mud, only, uh, like elevator music. <laughs> One day, a traveling wizard happened to spot this fairy standing next to a puddle of tears. He was proper knackered, this wizard, and hell of a thirsty. So what he did was he took a drink from the puddle in it. There's lovely, he thought, and felt ten times better straight away. Then off he went with a spring in his step and got on with his wizardly work. A bit later, when everything was done, he decided to go back and thank the fairy for the tears he drank. I mean, but... Oh, for the tears he drank, I mean. But when he, come, when he came back, the puddle was even bigger than before. Oh, fairy, he said with a grand old voice. Why do you cry so much? I've been gone three days and still you weep. Uh, Sob, said the fairy. Scared I am, like, scared of the dark, and I don't know what to do about it. After a few more sobs, he went on. And everyone makes fun of me. Good for nothing I am. Life's rubbish. And with that, he went back to sobbing. 
I see, said the old wise, wise old wizard, stroking his big white beard. Perhaps a lantern is what you need. So he whips his, this tidy lantern out of his cloak and plonks it at the end of the fairy's nose, right? Now, the light from the lantern made the fairy blink like mad, but it didn't half cheer him up. And sure enough, he stopped crying. Felt like he'd been born again, he did. You see, little fairy, said the wizard, you shall never be in the dark again, no matter where you go. I'm, I'm not scared anymore, the fairy gasped, cracking the first smile in his, of his whole entire life. And you, and you are no longer good for nothing either, laughed the wizard. That smile of yours will bring comfort to a great many people. Come with me and I shall show you. So the fairy packed up his daps in a little, in a little bag and went off with the wizard. They had come pretty hair they had some pretty hair raising adventures after all. But the fairy never once got scared. He had a he had the lantern at the end of his nose, see? And even after he parted ways with the kindly wizard, he never cried again. And the light on his nose is still shining to this day. Have a look around. Like he might be right nearby. Well, what do you say? Proper tidy tale, wasn't it? I bet you've got a tear in your eye now. Alright, so that was just the backstory of Drippy. <laughs> It's literally just the backstory of Drippy. To the actual book. All right, we are. No, that's no, not that one. Uh, no. Um, wait. No, we just did that. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting close. Uh, okay, we just did that. Sure. Oh, maybe we are. Maybe we are on that. Fault mm. of tears. Here we go. Okay. Um, 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 okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, the Legend of the Frog Prince, which is the Music Castle, Water Dream, okay, no, no, no. Um, stored, seared, okay, human forms, when that doesn't work, return to the area outside of his cell, it tells you a few lines of riddle that may point to a solution, but his majesty's memory is faulty. Examine the wall of his cell, and you'll see the full clue. Right. With that knowledge, return to the center of the room with a locked door and cast your puppet string spell. Pull eat out each statue and reverse them so the one on the left is exactly where the one on the right was and vice versa. Make sure you don't push them too far in. That's it? That's it, really? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, aren't we uh, a regular horse's arse? Um... Uh, oh, okay, so they, we do, they are marked in a way that we can tell which one's which. So, yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Let's do it! <laughs> Can't believe it was that simple. Ah! The frog things mean nothing! The little frog tiles, they don't mean a damn thing. Alright, so this one's gotta go here. And this one's gotta go here. That's it. That's it. Right? Right? Did I push one too far back? Uh, uh, is that one too far back? Oh my god, they snapped right into place. Uh, oh, maybe the- no, no, no. See, because the snake is going a weird way. Yeah, it's not- what I do? Did I not do it right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, let's try it again. Uh huh. Alright, let's pull it out. Put it back in. A little. Okay. I mean, it's snapping into place, so. Oh, maybe that one's. Oh. Huh. Oh, maybe they started out there. Maybe. All right, well. <laughs> All right, you come over here. God damn it. You come over here. There, and then you go here. Is that it? Okay, so they were already reversed. Got it. Spent what, like thirty mana, thirty magic, thirty magic trying to do this. So 
Oh, there's a thing down here. We can just get it back. Never mind. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Why am I so upset? We just got this right down here. We just get all of our MP and HP back. There we go. Uh, no, I don't need to save it. All right. Cool beans. We got there. Finally. All right. You followed the instructions, and yet the door remains closed. But I am sure that I heard some kind of noise. Okay. Well... Let's go investigate. Investigate. I am investigating. I am an investigative uh, uh, detective. Can I go down here? No. I can take the swoo. Swiggity swoo. The stairs. <laughs> Woo! Swiggity swoo. The stairs. Uh, and there are chests that I can reach. I think there's a green one over here. Yep, Swain. Swain, Swain, oh, Swain. Ready? No. Are you ready? Bam. Ooh, serpent scales. Ooh, storm serpent scales. What? What? What is that? It's crazy. Um, purple. Can't open yet. I can do blue, green, and red. Can't do the purple yet. Ooh, and what's this creepy circle? Oh. Oh. Oh! Ha 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 ha. I know, game. I know your tricks now. I know your tricks now, knave. Uh, spring lock. Boom. Ooh, serpent key. Got it. Yep. <clears throat> and off we go. Away from that circle. Because <laughs> I don't trust it. All right. Now we can actually get over here, right? Yep. <laughs> Never mind that we're floating. Oh, yeah, we can get past this too. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, no chest. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, Green Man's Cloak. We actually got one of those already from uh, the old oak. Great oak. The oak. Oak tree. Mr. Oak. Oh, bollocks. All right. That's all right. Love it again. Woohoo! Um, let's go back this way. There we go. And I think we're... Oh, there's a chest over there. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, you can run away, that's fine. I'm I'm fine with that. Oh, there's two chests. <gasps> well then. We're gonna do. Oh wait, was it? Yeah, there's one over there. Sweet. All right, spring lock. Ooh, pie on the bone, which boggles my mind, and I don't understand why they why they decided to make that a thing. But okay, whatever. Uh oh no, we're no longer levitating. Oh no. Is this snake afraid of us? Yes, it is. <laughs> Oof. <clears throat> I don't want to say... Ooh. I don't want to say we might... Oh, we already got that one. I don't want to say we leveled up too much. But we did level up quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh, we gotta do that again. Fine. Excuse me, silly mander. Uh, yep, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Sage's Secret. And, okay. This one, whoa, okay, another one of those. And, uh, I guess we gotta go this way, huh? Excuse me, monolith. And, uh, ooh. Yeah, I guess we're going this. The 
so way? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> oh! Drop down from the ceiling. Interesting. Oh, Obscura Boros. That's, uh... That's a new one. Actually, that's... Very... It's the same level as the one I've got. But it's a different, different version. Come on, buddy. Hit him. There you go. Ooh. Got him. Jeez. Ooh, caramel's in a star drop. Oh, I also found an island just, uh, just I think it's south or east of Hamelin, where they've got really kind of pretty tough enemies, and uh, there's like a there's a forge point where you can get 555 guilders. That's all it does. Like it, and it respawns fairly regularly. <laughs> like you just walk up to it and oh, 555 guilders. I wonder what would happen if you if you got like the double the double forge thing. From your uh, from the, would it would it be uh, uh, eleven ten maybe I don't know eleven eleven hundred and ten that'd be cool all right do we need to do we walk over I think we're okay walking over this yeah all right okay so we have the key now Ooh. So we just need to open the door. Let's talk to Ali and make sure he's on board. Oh, you found the key, you say? Ep, ep, lies in wait. Pep, 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 beyond the door. I shall fight him alongside you. Don't be daft, mon. Look at the state of you. You leave him to us, all right? Ah, uh, you speak of my condition. Yes. Yes, you are right. Forgive me. I wish you all the best. Apparently, Drip, Drippy has never played Chrono Trigger. <laughs> so, the King of Cobras is up ahead, is he? Everyone ready, then? Uh, yeah. Tidy, let's go. All right, let's do it. Oh, no, I just see a frog. I see a joint frog. All right. I don't know how tough this is going to be. Uh-oh. That's never good. Oh, it's one of the stones. Oh, it's a Yuanti. <clears throat> That's not good at all. Okay. I'm gonna start with good old uh, this guy. I'm gonna do in your story. Oh, one point of damage. That's a good. That's a good sign. Yep, 194 bow. Uh, oh, you know what? We're gonna. Oh, you know what? Psycho. Screw you. One. Oh, four points. Screw you, bow. Eat it. I. Oh, I just got all my hit points back. Bow. Ow. Ow. Asshole. Asshole. Uh-oh. What the hell is that? It's a fee! I flippin' hate snakes, I do. Make sure that slimy so-and-so doesn't come anywhere near me, Ollie. Ollie boy, I'll faint. Me and my phobias weigh me down, they do. Oh, there's there's an idea. Pop something heavy on top of that thing, and it'll... Uh-oh. I'm disconnected. That's fine. I'm still recording. Uh, all right. Hopefully it'll reconnect. <laughs> Stop slithering and use magic if you have to. Oh, I've got a burden him. All right, well, let's go back to Ollie and then. Ow. Okay, well, I'm gonna burden you. Bam. Got him. Yep, all right. This. And uh, spear splitter, I guess. Okay, and psych up. And go out. Oh, I should have. Oh, that hurt. Kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. Okay. Let's, uh. 
Gear splitter. Let's go around this way. Ow. Oh, actually, go back to Ollie. Got spells. Burden. Ooh. Then we will. Spidey Butts. Spidey Butts is fast. Get him. Get him, Spidey Butts. Get him. Get him. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but he does it quick. And he's an evasive. Got him. And defend. Aha! Spawn that. Ah, pep. Pep, 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 pep. You guys can move. I'm gonna cut loose. Meh. Not as impressive, but hey, something. Defend. Alright, we got 11 back. We're gonna get back to Dinoceros. And Psych Up. Go wild. Go him. Ow. Uh, keep attacking. Yeah, we got we got Esther backing us up. I think we're fine. Uh, just keep attacking. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> One point. It's more annoying than anything else. Alright. Go back to... Nope. Sorry. 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 Go back to Ollie. My bad. Uh, no. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Burden. Bam. Ooh, there you go. And spell. You get get him, get him, get him, get him, guys. Spells. I'm gonna pulse. Ooh, ouch. And pulse. Bam, sucker, sucker. That's actually fine. <laughs> Exactly, Swain. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Damn, son. Ooh. Oh, it's not that great of him, by the way. That's okay. Ooh, upsie daisy. <clears throat> Hip hop awry. Monkey poops. Boogie barf. Lots of level ups. Lots and lots of level ups. And that guy's beard. Awesome. Uh, and the stream is back. Good. <laughs> Didn't record any uh, any VO for that part, that part huh? Okay. <laughs> Uh, here, this is for you, stream. For... for dropping. Moonstone. Sweet! The riddle to get in the door was harder than... <laughs> harder than the fight. It took us longer, that's for sure. This is it! One of the... one of Moonstar's magic stones! So, that slimy app app had it all along, did he? Good work, Ollie boy! I am speechless. I can scarcely believe that Apep has been defeated, and yet... <laughs> but Prince Ali! Is, is this? It's the curse! The curse is lifting! Ugh! I'm... Still the same voice. Prince Ali! Wow, it's a miracle. He's human again, after all these years. It seems I... I have returned to normal. Too right you have. So, what are you still looking so glum for? Though I am human once more, my kingdom is naught but ruins, and she... she is long gone. Our story has already become a fairy tale. Everyone knows how it ends. But, your highness... Ribbit. 
Huh? You're that frog we saw before. Where have you been all this time? A frog. I guess it's going to be that voice without the raspiness. You know, this, this frog helped us back when we were cursed. In fact, it led us straight to you. Truly, how very... Huh? Oh? Oh? It's... it's Yasmina. Eh, it's Yasmina. <laughs> Where the heck did she come from? Really? She's the frog. You didn't get that swing? Sh surely not. Surely this is impossible. Yasmina! My beautiful princess Yasmina! Oh? Oh? <laughs> Ali, I have been waiting for you, waiting for so long. And I was a frog as well, just like you. Is this, is a dream? Are you really? But how? Hang on a minute. So that colorful frog we saw was actually a princess. I, I think I'm going to cry. I drank some potion as you, Ali. The potion that changed you into a frog. The one that cursed you. I thought if I were cursed as well, then you would not be alone. You did this for me? I always believed that we would meet again, Ali. I knew that your curse would be lifted one day. I had only to wait and wait. And wait, and wait, and wait! Yes, Yasmina. Ali. Alright, cool. We did it. We did it. Is my... I gotta check and see if my, uh... VPN is working. Oh, we're back in Alma Moon. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. You need not worry about us anymore. We are together again, and that is all that matters. Yes, we will finally be able to spend our lives together, just as we always wished. But where are you going to go? I didn't want to mention it, like, but your kingdom, well, it ain't what it was. Seen better days and all that. It's ruled by a giant cow, nowadays. That is true, though this is also a magnificent city in its own right. I feel sure that we can make it our home. Indeed, it is a fine city, and we should not dwell on the past. We should think about what we can contribute to the world today. Hehe, <laughs> I have, you have, oh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> have you considered becoming Babana merchants? My father really enjoys it, and the free Babanas are a real bonus. Babanas? What are they? Oh, right. I suppose they didn't have Babanas back in your day. You really should try one, Your Highness. They're delicious. Yasmina and Ali turned out to be deadly allergic to Babanas. They died three days later. They sound wonderful. I cannot wait to taste my first Babana. <laughs> it's nice to see you smiling. You were really lucky to have been given a second chance at happiness, you know. Don't let it slip away. Swain's right. You've waited thousands of years for this moment. Yes, please. And if you will excuse me, would anyone have some money we can borrow to rent a room over here? Just for a few hours. Well, for for the night. For a couple days. I We have some things we need to uh, take care of. Indeed. And it is thanks to you that it f has finally arrived. You know, Esther, I think you'd better change the ending of that fairy tale. Oh, yes, absolutely. He <laughs> he, and what will the new ending be? Hmm, let me see, let me think. Please, wait, do not be so hasty in writing the ending of our story. I beseech you. Yeah, I suppose this fairy tale isn't over yet, is it? Certainly not. Indeed, I feel that it ha that it is to be continued. He <laughs> he! Um, right, let's get a move on, shall we? I reckon the happy couple might want some time alone. <laughs> you think? Oh, of course. Huh? Uh. 
You've got a lot to learn, Ollie boy. You really have. Anyway, that's quite enough talking. Let's get walking. We've got things to do, you know. We certainly do. Give them money for a room. Give them money for a room. They're going to need it. <coughs> yes, we should go. I'm sure we'll be seeing this fairy tale couple again soon anyway. Well, once they're done tearing apart, in a, tearing apart a hotel room, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Anyway. <laughs> the unwavering, unswerving loyalty of two loving hearts has unlocked a story in the Wizard's Companion. Cool. New Tale of Wonder. The Bear Man and the Princess Princess's Tears. Okay, interesting. We got one stone. Alright, let's uh let's get another one. How about we get another one? How's that sound? Boom. I'm gonna get these forge bones. I always get two now there. That's or at least very often get two. I'm gonna hit the other one that I rediscovered over here. Because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you get ember shards there. I might, am I, I, I might be going crazy. I might just be going nuts. I mean, I'm going nuts. No, I'm pretty sure it varies. Like sometimes you get, sometimes you get uh, bane flowers. Sometimes you get ember shard. I could be wrong. There might be another forge point down there. I don't know. I don't freaking know, man. Yeah, bane flowers. All right, fair enough. Uh, one thing I'm gonna grab before uh, before we leave. The desert is another jade marble. Got to do it. Didn't have we didn't have them for so long. Now we're just snatching them up every opportunity. Has it respawned? Yes, it has. Boom. <clears throat> sweet, sweet candy. Bam. Two. Mmm. Love it. Gotta love it. All right. <clears throat> Parp again. Mmm. Big bird! Big bird! Where are you going? Big bird! Big bird! Big bird! Friend? Friend? Hello? Friend? Fr oh, friend? Wait, where'd you go? Okay, friend? Friend? Where are you going? All right, I gotta keep him in my sights. Keep him in my sights. I don't know. It's it's that's probably something, but I don't know what. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. He's he's dropping altitude, and chop. Oh, <laughs> didn't do anything. Ah, uh, that's funny. All right, <clears throat> that might end up being something later, but for now. Um, I guess we're going this way. Oh. Is it in Hamelin? No. Where is this stone? Should we be doing this one next? I don't know. Alright, well, it's not in Hamelin. Past Hamelin. It is off in this direction. Oh, ghost? Is that a ghost ship? What is that? Holy cr- Oh, it's on that thing, whatever the heck it is. Okay. Interesting. So we need the boat. Ooh, hold on. Can we land in here? We can. I want to get this forge point. It's probably going to be a bad idea, and there's going to be some nasty familiars in here, but... Oh, it's just Rumble Nuts. Alright, I can call him from here, right? This is just another one of those stones. Oh, there's some kind of writing on this stone! But it's all blurry! I can't read what it says! Alright. Oh, come on. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so we need our boat. Um, and it looks like there's something really nasty over here. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
<clears throat> oh, I'm gonna hit this right before uh, before we. Oh yeah, here it is. Here we go. We'll land right here. Hit this forge point. Bam. Ooh, planet crystals. So that's a random crystal spawn point. Nice, because I've gotten sun crystals from there, star crystals, and now planet crystals. Awesome. Good to know. <clears throat> so I guess we just have to go to Hamelin, get on our boat, and then head, uh, try and follow that star <laughs> to get to get the other stone. Because our boat should, it our boat actually follows us, I think. Oh, not when we're on the dragon. That's right. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. Let me do this. It's not like it's going anywhere. <laughs> well, it is going somewhere, but it's not like it's going to disappear. Um, let me do this real quick. Get these angulas. Bam. Yeah. Parp. Do, 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 do. And there's another one. Rot her. <clears throat> They're actually used for making fairy chocolate. All right, cool beans. Um, how do I want to do it? Actually, what I should have done, what I should have freaking done, uh, let me just land here. We will travel. Nope, sorry, I almost hit the wrong button again. We will travel to Hamelin. There we go. That's more like it. All right, I'm gonna grab this shadow glass. Um, and I should probably also. Day at the at the uh, inn. Just to get back my because uh, uh, Swain and Esther they used a lot of magic <laughs> in that last battle. <laughs> They're almost out completely. So let's go ahead and do that. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'm just going to Um, do we have any new familiars that we want to drop off? more convenient, safer, and cheaper than the rest. Stay. We broke 40 grand. <laughs> Your custom is always appreciated. Have a nice nap. Cool. Cool beans. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, save my progress. Yes, do it. You frickin', you frickin' frick. My phone's blown up. Sorry, stream. My phone is blown up. Um, um, okay, those, that's, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I trust you had a, another perfect night's sleep at the cat's cradle. Travel safely now. All right, cool. All right, lady. Wait, let me out. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. We are still, um, we're still missing some uh, pieces of heart. Um, I mean, we've been looking around, making sure that we've been keeping an eye open for... So, oh, wow. Wait. Here we go. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So we still need courage. We still need kindness. We still need confidence. And I haven't found any. Any. <laughs> uh, mechanics lament. Troublesome. Oh. 
Why is it still saying new? Okay, those are complete, but it still says new. All right, whatever. <laughs> as long as I got the stamps, I don't care. All right, and let me view my stamp card. I have one stamp card re uh, completed. Uh, we got the flapjack. <laughs> How does flapjack laugh? Uh, something like that. God, I love that show. Um, apparently there's one right here that makes it so that it's easier to charm familiars when you fight them. Um, but it costs three. And I think I need to unlock it by getting this one, so I'm a little ways away from that. But anyway. <laughs> Let's get on our boat. Since we traveled here using the travel spell, our boat should be down by the shore. So... That's good. <laughs> yep, all the familiars are going to be running away from us. Everyone on the track? Yeah, everyone got on the track. Yep, pig is going to, yep, pig coming after us. Don't care. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah. Get some of that raw steel. Yep, and there's our boat. <clears throat> Just gonna get this uh, slumber knot leaves, I think is what it is. Yeah, cool. All right. Off we go. All right, so. <clears throat> I think this boat just kind of circles that uh, island up there, or that area. So, I'm just gonna head up there, see if we can catch it. It's, it's nice to see that they don't completely make the this ship obsolete by getting the dragon. Like you needed to do some some things still. It's just that some some of the I don't know. I don't know if I if I am just being if I was spoiled by Final Fantasy and other other games like that, like, you don't gain much by having the boat, aside from the mobility. Like, you don't get access to, like, a new NPC that can sell you stuff, potentially. I think that would have been neat, that you can walk around the deck of the ship, talk to a couple of the sailors, maybe sell stuff, maybe some of them offer... I mean, they're... They've, they've sailed all over the map. They probably have, you know... Um, foraged uh, ingredients that you can that you can sell. That would be cool, but no, not an option apparently. <laughs> not a feature. Uh, I thought that would have been neat. Yep, there's the ship. I'm gonna take a shortcut. Yeah, baby. Are these sea monsters gonna be uh, trying to get us? Yes. Ho 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 ho! Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Oh! <laughs> well, that's uh. Ah! It's a g -g 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 pirate ghost! Ghost ship! Don't, don't be so silly, Swain. I'm sure there's a much simpler explanation. The girl is correct. It is no ghost ship. So, so what the heck is it then? It's a ghost galleon. A g -g ghost g -g 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 galleon? Look closely. There are many cannons protruding from the sides, are there not? It is one of the legendary and most fearsome warships constructed for the conflicts of the ancients or the ghosts of one, at least. 
So it's even worse than a ghost ship. Ha 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 ha! That it be, shipmates. Worse than the worstest nightmare you've ever had, are. Hmm? Whose voice is that? They who come alongside the black porpoise unbidden. Hmm. In their voyages at the bottom of oh, Davy Jones' locker. Oh, they have that here too. Night, neat. Tis the law of the seas. Davy, who? I'm drippy, man. You're thinking of someone else. B I R. That's terrible, rude of me. Forgive me, shipmate. R. What be I saying? Jetsam, on the deck with ye. Run these scurvy dogs through. And ne'er, ye ne'er do well, not tomaton, ye. Not tomaton? Oh. Ha! Huh. That was neat. Okay, I'm guessing water? No, storm. They don't like storm. Okay, um. I don't really have storm. I guess he's got some storm. Ouch! That hurt. Uh, plasma ball. Uh, how about sea stars? Ooh, no effect. Awesome. Plasma ball. <laughs> uh, and plasma ball. Ouch! Well, he's gone. That's fine. Took a little bit of damage, but we're fine. Didn't even use my most powerful one. <laughs> I think even with the even with the the on type damage, I still would have done more. Da I would have I would have done more damage with uh, with most stuff. <clears throat> anyway, uh, what was that thing? Ne'er do well no tomaton. No good pile of nuts and bolts more like. Ain't it though? Proper hunk of junk it was. Funny looking too. Are you no lively? You're no lily livered land lovers. I'll give you that. But the nightmare ain't over yet. Why, it's barely begun. Har 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 har. Is that a voice from before? It's a vo oh. Is that a voice from before? Who is that? Show yourself. Har 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 har. What's the matter, girl? Did the ghost take your eyes? It. I be right here. Har. Huh? Is it? Oh, it's uh. Oh, it's him! Oh, ah! Ah! It's him! Ha 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 ha! You gave Jetsam a sound scuppering. You back, you've backbone a lay to that, but not a bit as much backbone as uh, me and me scurvy crew here. We're bone from knee to topsail, ain't we, boys? Ha 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 ha! Why? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Why, Cubbin, we're the wittiest skipper. You're the whippy, wittiest skipper to sail the seven seas. Har, har, har. I'll make no bones about it, Captain. You're a regular laugh riot. Har, 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 har. Crikey, it wasn't that flippant funny. What, what are you people, anyway? You're not really skeletons, are you? Well, no, shipmate. I be the dreaded Captain Crossbones. Skipper and master of this tub we calls the Black Porpoise, and scourge of every inch of ocean from here to eternity. Our captain, we've a fine way with you've a fine way with words. Tis poetry, captain, pure poetry. Now then, state your purpose. What business have you with me and me, and me cutthroat crew? We're we're looking for the three magic stones, and the map brought us here. Har <laughs> Here to rob us of our treasures, are ye? By thunder. And not just any treasure, but the very jewel given us by the Wizard King himself. Oh, your plucky ones, I'll give ye that. Huh? So he... He's got the flaming thing he has. Oh. He's got the flaming thing, has he? It would have to be him, wouldn't it? Flippin' typical, this is. We sea dogs values our treasures more than our very lives themselves. Why we die for the least little trinket amongst them. If we weren't already dead, of course. Har 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 har. Another cap'n, another jest fit to slay a man. Har har, I've died all over again. Um, 
Call me silly, but I'm... Oh, sorry. Call me silly, but I'm starting to like these skeletons. What? The swollen-headed fool is the legendary captain. Pa. The stone is the greatest treasure in all our fo- all our holds, full of plunder. You'll have to prize it from me cold dead hands, you scurvy dogs. But but we need it. Whatever it takes, we have to have it. Whatever it takes, you oh ha 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 ha! Whatever it takes, you say. All right, well. Very well, lad. Oh. If you want it, you best come and get it. Them's the rules of the sea. Come at you. Yeah, Them's the rules. <clears throat> All right, another boss, but another boss fight. Sure. Bring it. We got swole, Daddy. We got swole. We're ready for this. Suck on this one time. One point. Come on. Well, we're, he's taking. He's got damage reduction, but uh, he's still taking a lot of damage, and he's doing one point to us. <laughs> All right. I mean, this will probably hurt. Oh, no. <laughs> that dirty cheat keeps pinching your HP, Ollie boy. Make sure you whack him sharpish if he looks like he's trying again. It's the only way you'll stop him. All right, sure. I mean, he took one point. Ow. Actually, why am I so low? Hold on. And, oops. That was probably a mistake. Ow. All right, well... All right, he's gonna focus on him. I'm gonna defend. <laughs> oh, he's asleep. Oh no. Uh, spells. Do I have rise and shine? No. I've got this though. I've got a sleep be gone on swing. All right, spell. I'm gonna I'm gonna pulse this muffal. And then, he's gone. And then, here's Twitter. Yeah, 112. How you like that? You punk. Yeah, he only, he's only doing one point. Yeah. Miss. He's, he's, uh, three points. <laughs> His, uh, he doesn't have great accuracy. Ham hawk hat. Oh, ow. Okay, well. Well, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's push one. Alright, let's defend. <laughs> Suck on me. Six points. Yeah, you got six points back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Gold glim, gold glim, gold glim, gold glim, gold glim, gold glim, gold glim. Yeah! Slash dance! Slash dance time, sucker! Ooh, okay, okay. Fen. Splish Splash. Apparently he takes full damage from water. Cool. Good to know. And I'm not doing that great damage to him as, uh, as Bitey Bites. Ooh, keeps hitting him. That's fine. Uh, how about no more these? Bam. How about Roly Poly? And, oh. Oh, he's just hitting him, huh? One point. Yeah. Have fun with that. Let's get out. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Let's do Plasma Ball. Oh, never mind. Griffy Beaks got him. That was annoying. I can see how that would have been bad if we were not so leveled up. <laughs> nice. Ooh, Black Blast. Nice. 
Oh, he just, he, that was what, one of the things he did. Cool. Is it? Is he one of the stone? Oh, he is. Oh, dope. <clears throat> That's dope. Sunstone, baby. I know, Captain. Don't die on us, Captain. Ha ha ha. What do you mean, lads? I'd be dead already. Captain. All right, this is all you're doing, you meddling scallywags. Excuse me. Pa, you call us thieves. You attack us, and then you have the gall to accuse us of meddling worms. Wait, I don't think they're bad people. People are. It's been a while since we've been called that lad. An age, in fact. I that it has. Remember the golden olden days. The slip of a sloop. We started out pirating on all them years back. Arr. Oh, talk amongst yourselves, why don't you? Arr, remember the captain in them days. What a terror. Draw us like slaves, he did. Till he was honored by the wizard king as his self. A fear to nothing we were. Twas a golden age of, for men of fortune. From horizon to horizon, the sea was our big blue oyster. Cult? <laughs> We'd have sailed the black porpoise to the world's end and beyond. But, uh, our, but we wasn't destined to live forever. Time caught up with us, sure as the tide. Aye, that it did. And then we was naught but salt-soaked souls becalmed by on the seas of the afterlife. Until the cap'n came back to us, that is. Just as we always knew he would. And we took to the waves once more. Arr, never a happier day I did I see. Never indeed. What more could a cutthroat crew have wished for in death? Aye, we've been... Okay, lucky indeed. Truly no regrets. Nay, not a one. Arr, not even that. You were born in the face of the week. Do oh, all you made... You, okay. Arr, arr, Cap'n. You have done yourself. I've wet me pirate... <laughs> Apparently now it's pee-pee time, too. All right, so you have done stone thieves and you'll just have to join the way to the harbor. Oh, okay. The text goes by too quick for me to do anything. Anchors away. Arrgh. All right. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Well, they seemed happy. Yeah, seems like things worked out all right for them in the end, eh? I can think of a worse way to go. I suppose you're right. Do you really think they're gone for good, though? Somehow, they didn't seem like the types to hang up their cutlasses and settle down to a nice, peaceful afterlife. You never know. All right, cool, that's it. We got the second stone. Uh, I guess the third one is gonna come up. Uh, I guess we're gonna start heading that way. Um, but uh, yeah, after we take our ad break, we're uh, gonna do our, uh, do this last stone. Um, oh, it's this way. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, Popeye. Um, <laughs> Ignore me. I'm an idiot. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna I guess head back to a place where we can land. In all likelihood, probably over here. <clears throat> I think this is Billy Goat's Gruff, is what it's called. Billy Goat's Bluff. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh yeah, right here. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's right over here. And uh, then we'll get uh, Tengri. Actually, first we'll, we'll go up the up the bluff and uh, get that uh, that crystal, that, the the drop crystal. I think these things are going to be running away from us now. Nope, they want a piece. Fine, if they want a piece. They're going to get a piece. The mighty might and a floor no bars. Alright, we're gonna fight this thing. Six, bad. Damn. Oh my god, oh my god, Esther. Oh my god, Esther. Jeebus. 
Oh, I feel bad beating up a Mighty Might, but... Sorry, bud. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Aww. <laughs> it was our first... It was one of... That was the first kind of familiar we got. There's Bitey Butts. We still got our Bitey Butts. That's fine. Boogie Barf. Leveled up. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I think these... These ones, these familiars on, or these, I guess, beasties on this uh, bluff do come after us. Oh, I don't think it's respawned. N nope. Never mind then. We're going to leave. Although the Flora Boris, you can steal um, crystals from them. So if we do end up getting attacked again, we will... And it's one of those. We'll try and steal. And then, oh, he's running away. So never mind. Not going to waste the time. Just going to call Tengri. All right. <clears throat> Over the mountains. I really haven't looked around a whole lot with Tengri. Like, I came back over here... And tried to see where where I could land, and there are some areas with some really weird looking familiars uh, that I didn't want to really test my metal against just yet. But uh, yeah, oh, it's another bird. Oh, it's a bunch of birds. Hi, bunch of birds. Oh, interesting. Woes. Um. It is very cold. I don't think I'm going to be able to land. Ooh, hello. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any cold... Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're freezing. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think that's going to... That's not going to end well. Um... Is there a place... Oh, maybe the place I go is in there. Alright, alright. Alright, game. Alright, game. I can't get to that forge point. That's fine. Let's just talk to this dude who we're clearly supposed to talk to. Ning to you. You cannot be entering without the permission of the elder of the village of Yule, yes? You do not know of where I am speaking? Simply go south, yes? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we don't go there yet. Do, 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 do. We're all very cold. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it has an effect on... Oh, look at that guy. Hello. Oh, he's scared of us. All right. Later. I'm not going to pick a fight if I don't have to. Oh, there's a forge point up there. Oh, they want a piece. All right. Fine. We got Griffey. Ooh. Uh, we got Griffey Beach. So I'm not too concerned. Let's do the mango fish. Still only doing one point of... Ooh, yeah. Griffey Beach's... Uh, Having that fire at those fire attacks. Oh my god. Just massacre. Well! <laughs> well then. Yeah. Guess we chose the we chose the right uh, familiar way back when. When we were like, what do we give Esther? How about this griffin? Sure, why not? Well, that thing wants a piece, but we can outrun it, so I'm gonna outrun it. Same here. Suck on that. Ooh, teal wood. Finally. Been waiting to get that. Um, I'm gonna sneak up on this thing. No, I'm gonna run away from it. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I guess I gotta go this way. I think it, it, maybe it would have been smarter to uh, ride Tengri, but... Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, let me get this forge point real quick and maybe fight one of these things if it uh, comes after us. Found it. Ooh, snowflakes. Now uh, we can outrun them. That's fine. <clears throat> I think if, and I'm saying this, this is very nitpicky, but I think with the cold, you should you should be uh, 
We should be moving slower. I think that would be an... Oh. oh, the gate's locked. It seems we can't get in. Unless there's an entrance on the other side. Come on, Oliver. Let's have a look. Oh, really? 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 Okay. I see how it is. Should have just used the dragon in the first place. Fine. Fine game. We'll do it your way. Let's do all the things that you want to do. Great. <laughs> Whew. Okay. New area. Home of the snowfolk. Wow, this place is amazing. It sure is. Look at the lights coming through the snow. And look at those big fluffy things. I've never seen one before. What are they? They're more, they're called to tomts. Tomties. Isn't it? Tomti? Tomties? Tomties? Tomts? Tomts? Tomties? They're called tomties, isn't it? You only get them by here in the winter isles. Everywhere else is too warm for them, see? Really? Wow, they're so cute! Yeah, yeah, they're lovely, but can we talk about this inside? I think I feel my blood turning to ice. I'll second that emotion. Freeze my bits off I am. Burr! Alright, so... So... <laughs> um, there's the Swift Solutions. This is... What is this? What is this dude? I'm entering this whole Steam series of the Temple of Trials. I'm feeling super, super excited. But I am hearing the Temple of Trials is being in the middle of the desert. Oh. Okay, that's what the, that's it. Uh, I'm hearing the Temple of Trials is being in the middle of the desert. I am worrying I will be melting there. All right. All right, that's the voice I've given them. That's the voice they're going to have. Oh, hello, green dot. Many green dots. We people of Yule uh, love so a delicious ice stew. To eat it together is our happiest time. Ice stew? It sounds nice, but doesn't it make you kind of cold? Ho ho ho, silly child. That is ver the very contrary. My ice stew blows away all chills. Well, she ain't lacking in culinary confidence, I'll give her that. He he he, my ice stew is being the best in all of the town. None better than I at its preparation. Exists. Wow. Okay. Weird sentence uh, structure. You're right, Mr. Drippy. She's full of confidence. And she just granny hears more cocksure than a cock robin himself. Okay. A lot of cock there. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Could we ask you a favor? You wish to enjoy trying my unbeatable ice stew? Please eat all the and more. Oh, well, it's not that, actually. No, such a shame. Sorry to disappoint you, Grandma, but it's your confidence we're after. Just a little bit of it, mind. Please, just a little. All you have to do is hold still for a moment. Yes, 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 child. Like this is being fine. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so take heart. It's like a freaking, freaking short story every time I go. <laughs> do something. You're like, just give me the thing, and we'll move on. That's it. That's all I want. Just, 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 come on. All right. Pink tank, particle tank tank. It is being finished already? Then you will come and try my ice stew? Uh, come and try my ice stew, come. Okay, okay. I don't think so, lady. Um, I don't want a bowl full of ice cubes. All right. Nah. This was being so high, perhaps, too high, perhaps. Are you okay? How did you hurt yourself? I'm being fine, thank you for your concern. It's just that I love to so tobogganing. Oh, should it be like a like a Norwegian, like a like a Finland or Norway, Switzerland, Canada? I don't know. The time having tobogganed from a very high place this time, my balance was lost and maybe you shouldn't go so high next time. Your mom and dad must worry about you. No, no, everything is being fine. I am not slightly frightened of such heights. Just, just because you ain't scared doesn't mean your mom and dad ain't though, does it? Hey, old, hey, Mr. Drippy, do you think this boy maybe has more courage than he needs? I think you're right. May, why he's taking such big risks, is it? 
Nice thinking, Ollie boy. Say, can we borrow some of your courage? Your bravery might be enough to help somebody who needs it. Is this truly being a good idea? I am not becoming a cowardly coward. It's okay. We only need to borrow a little. You won't notice a thing. Truly? Then please take freely. Thanks. Now hold still for just one second. Let me just find my dagger. And let's see. Whoop. I want to sharpen it up a little bit. And just hold still. I'll line it up with your roof hip cage. And just under the sternum. Ping tank, but tinkle tank tank. Oh, this is being strange. I am feeling perhaps a little calmer now. Cool, great, all right. <laughs> oh no, this lady needs help. All right, well we have, uh, we have all three. We have, wait, do we? What do we have? We need, what do we need? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we? Oh, we only need two. So we need courage, which we got, and we need, oh, kindness. We don't have kindness. We don't have kindness. Oh. Okay. Um. Spring lock. Ooh, blunt gem. A fat. <laughs> a fatty blunt gem. Uh, is it this dude? Is it this, this this girl? I am knitting lovely gloves. Soon they will be finished. Really? That's neat. Are they a gift for somebody? Yes, indeed they are. They are being for my grandmother. Now that she is old, she is feeling the cold so very badly. There, Storful of you. Your granny will, granny will be made up, love. Hee <laughs> hee, before I have made her a scarf, and before this a hat. You, you did? Gee, that's so nice of you. You do an awful lot of knitting, huh? Yes, it is being somewhat hard work, but the smile of my grandmother is a very fine payment. What a little sweetie. That's the kind of kindness you only see once in a blue moon, isn't it? It sure is. There we go. Finally found kindness. Excuse me, we have something to ask you. Do you mind? Mind? No, I do not mind. We could really use some of your kindness to help other people who need it. Would you mind sharing a little with us? Share it, but I'm not knowing how. All you need to do is hold still for a second. Can you do that for me? Hmm? Okay. Take heart. Do it. Do it. All right. Done. Got it. Got kindness. Ping tank, but tinkle tank tank. All right. We're done. I hope you're helping many people in the in need of, in need indeed. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we have people here. The little glowy blue dots. Those are people who need help here. Um. Ooh, frosty flan. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Ooh, What's up, guys? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and hand out those uh, those uh, pieces of heart that I got to the other people who we've already come across. That need Ooh, there's another green one, another green dot, another green dot. <clears throat> the people of this town are being very friendly, very warm. We Tomta are being very happy. It sure is nice to see humans and Tomtas living together, huh? Ain't it though? Cohabitating, cohabit. Cohabiting in peace and harmony they are. Yes, we are, yes, and never fighting. Always we are being friends. There's beautiful. It's not often you hear a heartwarming tale of communities coming together like that, eh? Look, Mr. Drippy, the locker is growing. Oh my god. And I reckon I know why. Our Tomta friend here is overflowing with belief, in it? Say, Mr. Tomta, can I ask you something? Asking of me? Yes, of course, please. Would you share a little of your belief with us? Yes, of course, yes. Why are being friends yet? We are being friends, yes. Friends of sharing, friends are sharing everything, yes. Thank you very much. All right, take heart. Do it. Do it. And we die of frostbite. Hey, cool. We got a lot of them. Patink, patinkle, ting, tank. Dunzo. This is being enough, yes? It sure is. Thank you so much, Mr. Tomped. Tomped? 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 I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know, man. All right, let's leave. We got to go back and... and, 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 and freaking... Where is... 
There it is. We gotta <laughs> We gotta we gotta hop on our hop on our dragon and we're gonna go back to uh Ding Dong Dell first, because there's two there. Then Oh, where was the other one? I'll have to I'll have to look it up. I don't remember. <clears throat> but Ding Dong Dell one hundred percent, because two of them are there. Two of our uh Two of the pe folks who need, two of the folks who need uh, pieces of heart are there. So, two of the Dells, the Wisconsin Dells. No, Ding Dong Dell. I could have just done travel, but this is so much more fun. <laughs> this is just more fun. Woohoo! Yay! And there she blows. Ding dong, ding a dong ding. I'm gonna go ahead and get these uh, booster shoots, and then head on in. Booster shoots. Man. Yeah, those first two stones were actually really easy. <laughs> well, they're pretty easy. If I had not been leveled up to the to the point I am now, I dare say they would be incredibly tricky. Pretty tough. Um, a pep was definitely dealing out some lethal some lethal damage. If I had not been at the level I'm at, if I was not at the level I'm at. I would, that would have just been straight up terrible. So, it's a good thing I leveled up. <laughs> Ooh, boy. All right, so, the actually, they're both in, near the castle. Both of the people who need pieces of heart are near the castle. So we're going to do that. I'm sorry for going on this, this errand. It's just I've been waiting to take care of this for the longest time, it feels. <laughs> this is, uh... And that means more stamps on my card and potentially more unlocking more abilities. So normally I do this kind of stuff in between streams, but we've done a lot this stream so far. So let's mix it up. Why not? Here you go, buddy. Here you've got some courage in it. Cast give heart and hand it over, why don't you? Yeah, I'm gonna. Hmm. <laughs> courage. Bam. <laughs> hmm. Why, whatever's going on here? Why, uh, we should be out on patrol. Sergeant, you're back. Me too, he saved him, huh? Thank you so much. I don't know how you managed it, but the sergeant's back to his old self. It's not much, but please accept this by way of thanks. A blunt gem. We just got a blunt gem. Dude, now we got two fatty blunts. Gems. And the 750 guilders. And them sweet, sweet stamps. Mm, give me the stamps. Penguin stamp. Two, three. Ooh. And there's <laughs> someone else over here. Uh, right over here. She gets kindness. Uh-huh. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna acknowledge that snippet of text. It's egregious. It's egre it's too much. It's egregious. Kindness. Meow, what am I doing? Sorry for being too... being mean to you. I didn't do it on purpose. Uh, are you back to normal? Hooray, thank goodness! Looks like you're okay now. Be nice to your friends now, won't you? I will, I promise. I was... It was you who helped me, wasn't it? Just like before. I mean, here, this is for you. Thank you so much. Three cheeseburgers. And a thousand guilders. Sweet. And sweet, sweet stamps. Nom, 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 nom. Cool. <laughs> Two. Aha! Cleared another card. Nice. Nice. All right, so... Let me double check something here. Nope, wrong menu. There we go. All right. Uh, what do we have underway still? 
ha 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 ha. Ah, right, Tahiti. That's where we need to go. Fairy Island. That's where we're headed. Got it. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Actually, we can step right outside and do the travel spell. Couldn't be quicker. <laughs> Looks exactly the same as the uh, Grimalkin we just helped. Alrighty. Yeah, a lot of the things I do in between the streams on this game, um, it's a lot of going to the boutique shops and getting a lot of the, the sweets, the treats for the uh, familiars, and just upgrading them. Just upgrading them as far as we can and going getting more, forging for more ingredients to upgrade them further and then just feeding them to the familiars so that they, you know, increase their abilities. And that's incredibly boring to do on stream, so I don't do it on the stream. I do it in between the stream. Uh, in between the streams so that it's, uh, whoops, can't, oh, that's fine, because we didn't want to do that, actually. <laughs> My bad. Travel. To, to the fairy ground. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. To the fairy ground. Tahiti. Every time with the fairy godmother. Whew. Those mounds. Those mounds, though. Almond Joy has mounds. Has wait, no, Almond Joy has nuts, mounds don't. That's the same. Alright, where's that fairy that needs confidence? Oh, we passed him. He is over. There he is, the tiny blue one. <clears throat> Here, Ollie boy, cast give heart and get the old confidence a flowing, will ya? Sure. Let's give heart. And uh, we'll give confidence. There we go. And there you go. All right, I gotta remember how to do the little tiny fairy voice. Hey, there's Footy. I feel all calm and confident. Yeah, itching to do a bit of routine, I am. Point me at the stage and watch me go. Uh, oh. Really? Got your confidence back, have you? Honest like? This ain't a rubbish joke or nothing? Nah, man. Proper fearless, I am. I reckon I could do a gig in front of Shaddai himself and not pat an eyelid. You lot of flipping lifesavers, Tarmon. Seriously. Here, yeah, it ain't much, but it'll have to do. Three pies on a bone? Sweet. And a thousand guilder monies. And, most importantly, stamps. Sweet, sweet stamps. Mmm. Give me them stamps. And a bonus stamp. Oh, I need to change my pants. That was awesome. <laughs> Get them stamps. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's uh, take a look at the board. Anything new? Oh, there's new ones. Ho, 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 ho. All right, so we're going to do these off stream. Not going not gonna to bother. Those were the three that were outstanding that I was waiting to finish, waiting to get done. So we're, we're, uh, we're just going to just gonna scroll through these. It looks like it's all in Yule. Uh, Yule and Yule and Yule. Uh, yep, and Yule and in Yule. Great. So it's all in the area that we're going to be in. Great. So that's sorted. Let's go. Oh, can I travel to Yule now? With the spell? Let's find out. Boop. Nope. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Sorry. That was the dragon. Oh, he said that button. That's fine. Uh, let's just set down right there. Sure. I want to do it. Ooh, and while I'm here, I'm gonna get these. Uh, whatever this is, gnome beard, gnome's beard. Yep, gnome beard. All right, <clears throat> spell list. That's what I want. Oh, there it is, Yule. Sweet. Just like that. A huge time saver. All right, now we're freezing again. Great. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Uh. I'm not gonna talk. This guy wants me to do an errand. I'm not gonna talk to him yet. Who do I have to talk to? I have to talk to like the the town. Uh, oh, here we go. We go in here. That's where the star is. <clears throat> oh, so solutions. Sweet. Uh, I guess we're talking to this dude. Uh, um. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Hello to you. <laughs> the weird Yoda voice. Oh, hello to you. You are being... You are being Oliver, yes? Thank you, Ollie boy. There, there you were with the Tomtes for... for but oh, wait. There you were with Tomtes for buddies. And you never e even told us. They're secretive that you are. Oh my god, the sentence structures in this game. <laughs> no, you are. I don't. Who are you? Who do you. How do you know my name? I am learning it from my teacher, yes? She is being your biggest fan. Your teacher? My teacher, yes. She is coming to our village to study the ancient archaeology. I am being her pupil, yes? Hello to you. I am being Eiki. I don't know how to pronounce the A with a little circle above it. So I'm just, call, I'm just gonna call him Ake. <laughs> you're studying archeology, span but you're a snow person. Yes, a Tomta, yes, I am being Aki. Oh. Hello there, Aki, 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 whatever. P perhaps you'd like to, to introduce me to your new friends. Oh, teacher, hello to you. You are being very late, yes? Oh, oh my, Oliver. Goodness, this is such a privilege. Imagine the great wizard Oliver coming all the way out here to this frozen corner of the world. Okay, that's kind of weird that she knows us. Uh, <laughs> Professor Tabitha. Come on. Uh, oh, but how perfectly rude of me. I must introduce myself. I am Tabitha, researcher and professor. I've been reading all about your exploits in the Daily Yarn. You're quite the news personality. The Daily Yarn, eh? That's how you Grimalkins learn what's going on in the world, isn't it? Well, aren't you knowledgeable, a knowledgeable little thing? Yes, the Daily Yarn is the purim, pur, purmir news provider for Grimalkin all across the world. And lately, we've all been glued to the tales of your adventures. Gee, that's... Thank you, ma'am. It's kind of embarrassing, but thanks. What perfect nonsense. Embarrassing. Don't be silly. You're a hero. Oh, by the way, I have something to tell you. You're here in search of one of the magic stones to help restore your wand to its former glory, aren't you? How did you... Yes, that's exactly why we're here. Then you're in luck. I am a professor of archaeology, you see? And I'm going to tell you everything I know about Mornstar. Clakey, what are the chances of that, eh? There's a turn up for the books. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> now, according to my research, Mornstar was fashioned by none other than the Wizard King himself. And just prior to settling down to his eternal slumber, he divided the incredible power of the wand and sealed it inside the three magic stones. The stones were entrusted to his most faithful followers in order to prevent the wand's power from falling into the wrong hands. His most faithful followers, huh? Do you think that creature we fought on the tombstone trail could have been one of them? Now, now, concentrate. Prepare yourself for the most important part of what I have to tell you. If my theory is correct, one of these followers, one of those followers, and the stone they were entrusted with, is in a cave beyond this village known as the Glittering Grotto. Bingo. That must be where the map of the stones was pointing us to. Meow. The map of the stones? You, you mean... You mean you knew precisely where it was already? <coughs> Excuse me. Already? So I haven't helped you at all. How inexpressibly disappointing. No, that's not true. We didn't know anything about the Wizard King or his followers. Or any of that stuff. Thank you, Professor. Professor Tabitha, what kind of place is this glittering grotto? Well, as I had mentioned, it's a cave just beyond Yule. A cave marked on ancient maps as the Maw of the Mountain King. My theory is that the Mountain King and the Wizard King are one and the same. Oh. 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 Ice King? Are we getting like an Adventure Time Ice King situation? Anyway, the cave was what has the powers to suck objects into its dark, darkest depths. I had a girlfriend like that. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> which leads me to theorize that one of the Wizard King's magic stones may well be hidden in the deepest part of the grotto. Uh-oh, I've got a funny feeling about this. Yes, I'm sure you have. You just, you great big wimp. It's called terror. N no, it's not. Shut up. It's intrepidness and, um, excitement. Before you go rushing off in pursuit of the stones, you'll need the permission of the village elder to enter the glittering grotto. The village elder? Precisely. But he's away at a gathering of the elders at the moment. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to meet him. I was hoping to be able to accommodate you at my home, but I'm afraid there's not enough room there to swing a cat. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You've done more than enough for us already. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you so much, Professor, Professor Tabitha. Don't be silly. It was me who should be, it is me who should be thanking you. It's not every day you get to provide a renowned hero with help on his legendary quest. There should be room for you all at the inn, just inside the entrance to the village. I wish you a perfectly wonderful night's rest. All right, cool. So I gotta look around, because I think that uh, little ghost kid is also gonna be here so somewhere. If the the pattern of this game holds <laughs> to what it's been so far. Uh, we're still freezing, so I think we actually have to go to the Hootique. Where is the Hootique? Uh, is this the Hootique? No, that's the inn. We want the Hootique. Um, is there a Hootique? Uh, oh, yes, right over here. Oh, it's just this this dude. Hey, dude. Welcome to you. Please very much. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. We would like some sandwiches. <laughs> I need to replenish my sandwich. My sandwich count. Uh, we'll do 29. We'll buy 29 sandwiches. It's a nice all-around health... Re Ooh, stone be gone. Uh, I already have five. I don't come across that often. I think we're okay with five. All right, what new crazy weapons? Ooh, blazing blade. Hellish flames dance upon the blade of this magical sword, allowing it to sear with that which it slashes. All right, uh, ice shard. Cool. Ooh, ooh. Tom to Whomper. Nice. Nice. Um, ooh, okay. Don't want that. Apparently that's not great. So we're going to get ooh, one of each of these. So buy one. Yes, Blazing Blade. I will give it to him. I'll get one of these. Uh, buy one. And I'm going to give it to... Him. I'm gonna get this. Actually, I'm gonna get two. And but well, yeah, uh, these hammers don't drop your uh, accuracy. Um, axes do though. And since this is, uh, ooh, yeah, that should hopefully, yeah, it's just plus fifty-seven attack. It doesn't adjust the accuracy at all. So our di our our dinosaurus is uh, dinosaurus is dinos dinosaurus dinosaurus. I always get the Dinoceros's accuracy should go back up, so that's good. So we're gonna give one to him, and we're gonna give one to the Hooray. Why not? And we're gonna get two of these. Sure, why not? Ice Worm Tusk. We're gonna get two. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Where'd all of our money go? <laughs> I wonder. Oh, we didn't buy any armor. Oh my god. Um. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been nice. I mean, we can probably... Ooh. Ooh, what does this do? Plus six to the attack power, plus six to magic attack power, too. Ooh, that's nice. All right, well... Oh, dope. I'm going to buy this. This is more important. <laughs> this is way more important. Uh, ooh, I have how many? Three in the bag? All right, I'll buy seven. Yeah, can I get seven? Uh, no, I gotta get seven. All right, seven of those. Cool. And I'm gonna get ten of these. 
Oops. Sorry. Ten. Yep. There we go. Snow radishes. Sweet. All right. New ingredients. Uh, I will come back when I have more money <laughs> and get some of this stuff. I might have some stuff to sell. Hold on. Let me let me see what I got. I don't like selling stuff now just because. I don't know. I'll sell one of these since I don't even use them anymore. Yep. That's fine. Um, I want to keep at least one, because because with alchemy, you you do end up using some things that you've made previously and other items that you've purchased as a base object to improve and make a better thing. So I don't want to go and sell everything. Oh, I'm definitely selling one of these. Yep. There we go. That gives us a pretty penny. Oh, I'm selling two of these. <laughs> yep. There we go. Um, I have one, only one, only one, and that's equipped. I have three of those, and I know how to make more. They're not that difficult to make. I'm going to sell two of them for a pretty penny. There we go. Uh, only one, only one, only one, only one, only one. I have two. I want to sell one. Cool. Ooh, back into uh, back into uh, five digits. Um, oh, I forgot I had that. <laughs> I'm keeping it though. Uh, ooh, I have two of that. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and sell one. <laughs> Why not? Cool. Um, only one. I just bought that. Oh. Oh, where'd I get that? Where'd that come from? <laughs> That's bad. I don't want that. Sword and be with dark magic even as it drains its victim's ambition. Damages the wielder as well as the enemy. Why? Why would you... Oh my god. Alright, well. Whatever. And these I just bought and they're all equipped. So... Yeah. Cool. Alright. Armor and stuff. I'm selling one of these. Just one. Because you never know. Uh, selling one of these. Whoops, sorry. Cool. I'm gonna sell... Oh, two of the... Oh, actually, that's a base item for a good thing. Yeah, I'll sell two. That's fine. I know where to get more. You can get more in, uh... Castaway Cove. Pointy hat. A pointy hat. Uh, I will sell one Grunt Shield. Yep. Uh, so two of those are equipped. Only have one, only have one, only have one, only have one. I have one equipped and one in the bag. Stout armor. I have two. And uh, neither of them are equipped. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell one. Because... Yeah. <laughs> yep, sell one. There you go. All right, let's see what we can afford now. Oh, we also have a bunch of this stuff. Uh, <laughs> I'll sell two of these. Yep. Uh, keeping, keeping, keeping. Oh my god, I'm selling three of these. I can make other things with them, but... Three is fine. I don't even have them equipped. They're not even equipped. Uh, I'll sell one of those. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I will... I can make more of that. Kind of... Well, I can make one more of that. Um, I think I'll hang on to those. Oh, I will sell one of those. Yeah. I will sell one of those. Yep. Keeping, keeping... Oh, I just got that. That's right. Just got that. I just made that. <laughs> um, so no. Um, not selling any of these. Unless I want to sell a blunt gem. <laughs> I'm sell a blunt that I just got. Got all these gems that we don't even use. I should probably give one to my Dinoceros. Ooh, that might be good. Or Dinoceros, sorry. 
Purifying Pulse, Healing Tear, Firewall. Maybe. Thunderspark. Whirly Gig. Ooh, actually. Ooh, that is good. I've had that. I've had that used that ability used against me, and it's painful. So maybe, maybe. Alright, anyway. Um I don't want to sell any of that stuff. And I don't really want to sell. Oh, actually. 60 shadow glass. Oh, 60 gold. I have 44. I'm going to sell 22 of them. Sure. There we go. That gets us a bit of money back. <laughs> 44 shadow glass. Good lord. Um, oh, raw steel. Uh, I can sell mm, 10. We'll part with 10 of them. Yep. There we go. Uh, how many jade marbles do I have? I have five. Keeping all of them. We got a drake stone finally. Somewhere. Somewhere along the line. <laughs> and a tack, tack stone. Oh, a tash. A tash stone. Funny. It's a stone shaped like a mustache. Tash stone. Each one stores the memories and experiences of a living being. Weird. <laughs> uh, a big babana. Um, yeah, I don't want to sell any more of this unless I've got like just stupid amounts of it. Um, shadow glass, we had a lot. Oh, what whetstones? Yeah, we'll sell 15. There's no way we're going to need 30 whetstones. Um,. 21 babanas. I think we're, we're fine there. Yeah, most of that stuff up top we can buy in a shop. Um, <clears throat> Alright. Let's see what we can afford. Back up to 23 grand. <laughs> let's see what armors we can afford. Uh, let's see. For the guys, we use a lot. Ooh, that puts his defense up pretty good. I do want to get that. And that's for the Floroboros. Sure. Uh, and that's for stuff we don't we don't really use. That is a new shield? Ooh, okay. Hmm. I would say two of these and one of these. Yeah. Yep, two Tundra shields. Yep, I'm gonna give one to you. And, oh, I just gave him a really good shield. The, uh, the, lith the uh, Lithium Yum, I just gave him a good shield that I just made. Oh well. Buy one. Yep. And give it to him. Awesome. Pretty thank you. Pretty thank you. Okay. Uh, that's weird. It's <laughs> a weird turn of phrase. What's in here? Oh. Oh, it's the ghost kid. Yay, we found him. <clears throat> right. I'm going to do this right the first time. Spirit medium. I can find it. There we go. Hello, Oliver. Enjoying the snow? And what about the aurora? Amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I never saw anything like it before. But it's so flipping cold out here, man. How the heck can you stand around gulping at the sky in that chill? I don't feel the cold, do I, stupid? But I still ended up coming inside, I suppose. Of course you did. It's cold enough to freeze your ghoulies off right out there, man. Warm in here, though, isn't it? Funny, since it's made out of snow. These igloos were built by the snow people, the Tomta. Some say that it's the warmth in the Tomta's hearts that keeps the it their igloos so cozy and warm. Could be true, you know. I reckon them wa walking fur piles are almost as friendly as, the f as we fairies. Not quite, of course, but close. <coughs> Excuse me. You should try then their ice stew. A bowl of that and the comfort of a nice warm igloo is an experience you'll never forget. Ice stew? Yes, it's a hearty stew with an icy bite. It's made from those flowers there. What are they called again? I can't seem to remember. Let's make that your challenge for this time, shall we? Go on, tell me what the flowers in front of me are called. They're definitely in the wizard's companion somewhere. Come and talk to me when you've found out. Alright, well... Yeah, that's, that's one thing we're going to have to do. I'll probably do it in between streams. It's not... It's uh, not as exciting a thing to do. 
<laughs> on stream. Ooh. Wildflower Sunday. Yes. All right. Uh, all right. So the the game wants us to go to the inn. Fine. We'll go to the inn. <laughs> we'll go to the inn game. Uh, oh, we've also got this. Hold on. Ooh, Phoenix Feather. Thank you. Uh, we're not peddling our wares here. I've made up my mind. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> what? But we can't. If we do, all the stock we've brought in, Hamlin will go off. We bought an Hamlin. Never mind that. We can't. How can we trust people who live with things like these? I'd rather some of our stock went rotten than have to stay here. Come on, we're leaving. Flitmon, are you two having another Barney? It's like you're flipping ho it's like you're flipping, flipping hobby or something. Mr. Trippy, you can't say things like that. Oh, hello again. You'll never guess what. My husband has had yet another funny turn. Please, you have to help him. Let's see now. Yep, he's out working again. And it looks like he's lacking belief this time. How do you two manage to get heartbroken, heartbroken so flipping often, eh? This isn't the time to be scolding them, Mr. Drippy. We have to help him. All right. Well, I guess I'm doing this right now. That's what I like to hear, right? Let's get ourselves some belief then, shall we? I think we have some, don't we? Yep. Yepper pepper. You got some belief by there, innit? Ollie boy, go on then. Cast give heart and hand it over. Yeah. About that, Drippy. Oh. Hmm. One minute. One minute. Let me get some water. All right, well, hey, we're getting more stamps. Stamps, 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 stamps. Oh, I feel calmer somehow. Goodness, I can't believe I was so rude to the Tomta after they were so kind to us. What an oaf I've been. I've been an oaf. Are you better now, sir? You cured me again, didn't you? Thank you so much. I'd better go and apologize to everybody here in town. Oh, but before that, here, to say thanks. Bottle of Sprat Dew. It's a combination of Sprat and Mountain Dew. Brought your teeth right out of your head. And 1,000 guilders. Stamps. One, two, three. Mmm. All right, cool. One more. Oops, excuse me. One more stamp and we're, uh, we're all set for the... Uh, oh, no. What does this person want? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, there they are. Whoop. Whoop. <clears throat> Let's see. Ah, it would be so very nice. One day, perhaps, I will go. Go where, Mom? I am being a lifelong resident of the Winter Isles. I am born here, and I have never left. I would like so very much to just once visit the lands of the South. The bright sunshine and deep blue seas and the dwellers of these islands are spending their days in bathing suits. Imagine such things. It sounds like she'd really love to visit Castaway Cove, huh, Mr. Drippy? Just a bit, Mun, and she should. They had a spare bathing suit for us. I'm sure they'd have one in her size. Truly? You are thinking so? You have been to Castaway Cove? Excuse me. I am being very jealous of you. Do you have your bathing suits with you? Will you show them to me now? Put our swim swimmers on in this cold? You're flipping joking, ain't ya? No, you are misunderstanding me. I I just wish to see one, as I, I wish to own a swimsuit of my own. Please, will you perhaps be making me the happiest girl in the world and bringing to me a snazzy swimsuit from Castaway Cove? I will absolutely be rewarding you finally. Um, yeah, sure. Wow, look at all those five stamps. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so. Perhaps now, soon, I will be owning the swimsuit of my dreams. And you're gonna catch frostbite. Uh, there's a girl down in Castaway Cove who designed swimsuit, ain't it? Let's go ask her if she can help us out, shall we? Sure, let's go see her. Oh, I cannot thank you. I look forward extremely. All right. Well, I guess we can go do that. I mean, we don't have to do go to sleep. The game is telling us to go to sleep. I don't want to go to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep yet. Uh, let's see what this dude wants. Oh, you're here at last. Oh, wait. 
What voice do they give him? I forget. Oh, you're here at last. I was beginning to think my predictions were incorrect. They weren't, of course. Huh? Oh, you mean you've been waiting out here in the cold for us? I think you'll find it was with good reason. I need you to help me with some more of my research. Flipmon, does it ever flip and stop with you? Uh, ooh, six stamps though. <laughs> ha, I think you'll find that that's exactly what I predicted you would say. Which creatures would you need us to tame for you this time, Darwin? I need you to bring me three examples of how the climate of the Winter Isles affects the physiological development of in indigenous creatures. The first travels atop a blue flower. The second is a proud creature that has found its niche in the glittering grotto. The third piles snow upon its head. That sounds like a real interesting bunch of creatures, Darwin. Did you expect my studies to focus on in uninteresting creatures? I think you'll find the Winter Isles are replete with a myriad of frankly fascinating life forms. I hope you'll embrace this opportunity to further the cause of science yet again. Don't let me down. And, oh, and I cannot study them if you send them to the familiar retreat. So please, don't waste my time by doing so. Run along then, bring all three back to me, and I'll be sure to acknowledge your contribution in my next fascinating paper. Alright. Oh, who's this now? Is this that lady again? Wait. Yes, that's that lady again. Um, all right, we're going to go to Castaway Cove right quick because it's literally two clicks. <laughs> so click, go there, click, come back. I don't know if we're going to have to do something to get the swimsuit, but we'll see. Stream's wrapping up soon anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Travel. Castaway Cove, baby. All right. <clears throat> That's a climate shock. All right, there's the lady. We can see her walking away. Let's catch up with her. Catch up. Catch up with her. Catch up with her. Bam. Ah, got her. Oh, how wonderful to see you again. You are looking for a designer to bring an element of elegance to your life, perhaps. Actually, yes, we're looking for a snazzy swimsuit. We thought maybe you would have one. You thought correctly, in theory at least. Oh, great. But last, my very last snazzy swimsuit has been taken. Frick. Oh, somebody bought it, huh? Tragically not. It was, in fact, stolen by a most troublesome seagull, and one without an ounce of fashion sense at that. Cheap as a seagull, so your swimsuit? Uh, you wouldn't happen to remember which direction it flew off in, would you? I cannot be certain, for I, w it was rather traumat I was rather traumatized at the time, but I feel it may have flown, flown, flown? Flown to the west. <laughs> flown to the west! Only the ancients know where it might be now, however. To the west, huh? All right, come on, Mr. Drippy. Hang on a minute, man. Don't you think we should get some more clues first? Um... No. Uh... No. Not really. <laughs> From who? 20 guilders and a cake or something in this one, I think. Oh, chocolate. Sweet. Alright, so we, let's talk to, let's see if we can find a seagull. Um, I'm guessing we need to find a seagull and do nature's tongue and talk to it and see if it'll tell us a thing. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's, it, it, that seems like a thing that this game would make us do. Problem is, I'm not seeing any seagulls. I'm seeing crabs. There's a blue crab right over there. Um, yeah. Well, let's see. Let's try the dock. Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot I gotta go down this way. Ah! Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, wait, we can talk to this crab again. Oh, yeah, maybe the crab knows something. Maybe. Maybe. Nature's time. Bam. 
I decided to pay my friend a visit. I hope it wasn't telling he wasn't telling tall tales about how nice his island, his new island is. Oh, okay. So, okay. <laughs> Did you have to tell us much of anything? Great. Cool. And I'm not seeing any seagulls. All right, cool. So, uh, <laughs> I guess that's something that I'm going to figure out in between streams. Because it's just an errand, and they're not they're not that exciting. But we did, we did a lot today. We got two of the three stones done. We fought three bosses. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, one boss. Well, one two bosses and one mini boss. Um, it's a lot. Pretty good. Not not bad for uh, for a day's work. Um, thanks everyone for uh, watching. If you're watching this on stream right now. And lurking, it's appreciated. Even though, even if you're not, if you if you don't drop into the chat, it's appreciated. Thank you so much. If you're watching, watching this on VOD, thank you. And uh, there'll be more of this. Um, I think we're coming to the near the end of this game, uh, and I already have the next game planned, but I'm not gonna reveal what it is until we actually, you know, beat this one. But it is a more recent game, and it is a very good game. But it is staying in the vein of RPG type games, and uh, very, very well done RPG games. And it is also something that I can play on the, on the Switch. Which is also keeping keeping with the trend of this of this stream. Thursday evening. Because we started with Mario, Paper Mario, and then this. And then the next one's going to be also on the Switch. So if those clues uh, figure, help you figure out what it is, uh, great. I mean, there's not a whole... There aren't many... Many other many games on the Switch that fall into those three categories or two categories, I should say. Uh, but yeah, so uh, stay tuned, and uh, once once we beat this, I'll, I'll announce uh, the next game, or once I would say probably the, the the final stream of this at the start of that stream, I will announce what the next game is going to be, um, <clears throat> if I'm sure it's going to be the next the last stream. Uh, anyway, um, we'll be back on Monday evening to uh, play some Tailspire. We're going to continue to build the uh, Tomb of Horrors. Some new assets have been added to Tailspire, so we can take a look at those and see uh, if we can uh, fit those in to the dungeon anywhere. Um, I believe one of them was one of the things that we were looking for uh, previously in our build, and uh, it didn't. It, it did not have at the time, so now, now we have it, I think. <laughs> if the preview uh, is what I thought it was. Um, and then on uh, oh Saturday, well, I'm, I'm skipping right ahead to Monday. Saturday we'll be back for Skyrim. Um, just continuing to play legendary difficulty uh, with survival mods. It's uh, it's become a thing. We finally got the good fishing mod up and running, um, so that's cool. And uh, we're just kind of tearing away at uh, you know getting levels, doing quests. We we're finally on the the main quest line for, you know, the Way of the Voice and the Greybeards. So I think um, this Saturday we're just going to go talk to the Greybeards and get that, start going down that quest line. We're like level 35 when we're finally doing this. <laughs> but that's how it is in Legendary Difficulty. You can't, you literally cannot do much until you reach a certain level and can survive uh, a freaking mud crab. It's, <laughs> it's tough. It's rough. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing that on Saturday. Um, Monday, we already said, Tailspire. And uh, next Thursday, we'll be back doing this. Uh, if anyone's looking for a game of Dungeons & Dragons to play monthly, I have a game that I run through Eventbrite. I am Dice and Brews up at the top of my overlay. Oh, there it goes. Uh, Dice and Brews over at Eventbrite. Uh, I have a game that I run on Tuesday evening. Um, it's coming up on the 21st this month. Um, uh, tickets are eight bucks. It gets you a seat at the table and a greater healing potion. Greater healing potion. Greater healing potion for your character to use in game, uh, but only for that session. At the end of the session, it goes away. But I just let the the player characters drink the potion, regardless of the situation, unless they're dead, in which case they can't. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but yeah, it, we use uh, D and D Beyond. We use Roll Twenty, and we use a browser plugin called Beyond Twenty that ties them both together and makes all your, your makes your character sheet in D and D Beyond basic, basically clickable. So you can click your attack, whatever. If you have a long sword, you just click the long sword, and it'll roll it. It'll roll the attack and the damage in Roll Twenty, as long as they're both in, open in the same browser, uh, like Firefox or Chrome or whatever. 
and it makes it so much easier and it's great for me as a GM because it works the same way with monster stat sheets. So if it's just a, if I just have a monster sheet open, it has all the little its attacks turned into buttons. I just click it, it rolls it in roll 20, everything's good. It's a great way to run the game and it saves so much time for me as a GM. It just may, it makes it so much easier. Um, so uh, check that out if you're interested. Um, they're dungeon crawls, so if you miss a month, uh, you, won't, you won't miss too much story. Um, it's basically kick in the door, fight the really hard encounter. I, I throw really hard encounters. <laughs> just, uh, and uh, get the experience, get some cool magic items and such. So if you have a character knocking around in your D&D Beyond uh, account, uh, it's a great way to give, uh, to test it out. Uh, test out your character build and see if it can survive um, uh, just a, a, a wash of deadly encounters. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's some puzzles and stuff thrown in there too and, uh, and interesting stuff but uh, not much story I try to keep it kind of threadbare so people can kind of join and drop without missing much so yeah just just you know dungeon crawls fun stuff um, so yeah if you're looking for a non d and TTRPG to play with your friends and or family over video chat uh, check out tourguidegames.com they offer on demand professionally led TTRPGs for you and your friends and or family all you need is a smartphone. Um, your uh, tour guide is more than happy to take notes and roll dice for you. Uh, and even then, there's not a whole lot of that required uh, since the games are very rules light, uh, easy to learn over the course of a couple of hours, and just a blast to play. Um, games like All Out of Bubblegum, Time and Temp, Lasers and Feelings, Guild of Orpheus, Honey Heist, uh, Project Ninja Panda Taco, um, what's another one? Fiasco, uh, Scream. Games like that that are uh, just just really great, fun like a fun time. Very, they let your creative juices flow uh, and get silly and 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 do some improv if you're looking for like improv exercises. Fiasco is particularly good for that. Um, Project Ninja Panda Taco is just a blast, and it's 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 a, it's a very kid friendly game. But if you if you run it for a room full of full of adults, it can get it can get silly. <laughs> So it's, it's also very fun. Um, and it's a great way to break the ice. So if you, if you are a, uh, an employer or a business owner and you have uh, employees and you're looking for a team building exercise, um, Tour Guide Games offers that, the business to business service. Um, and a lot of the games are great for it. In particular, I would say Fiasco is great for it. Um, if you're looking for more, a more improv thing, uh, Project Ninja Panda Taco is great just all around, just if you're trying to break the ice. Um, it's it's great for just getting to know everyone's sense of humor and and their their interests and things like that and 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 things like yeah it's 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 great and and with the um, with the added uh, benefit of a, of a proctor to kind of moderate the, the whole experience it's it really makes it uh, the experience very easy and uh, just a blast it's a whole lot of fun. So uh, again, check that out over at tourguidegames.com. If you're interested, everyone, thanks so much. Uh, please stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face while you're out and about, social distance whenever possible. The mask goes over your nose and mouth at the same time. Uh, check in your area to see if you're eligible for vaccinations and get one because it is, it is the considerate and responsible thing to do. Uh, we don't want another wave. Uh, we don't want a gamma wave after the Delta and so forth. We don't want to go through the Greek alphabet of covid variations uh so um yeah and just be awesome to each other and uh we will see you all next time here on the vapor lock 81 corner of the internet bye hey what's up if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button and also hit the bell if you want to know when i post some new stuff uh you can see some of my other stuff right over there on the screen <laughs>